Okay, guys. <laughs> um, we're working on going back live. Sorry, the stream completely crashed. Um, that was Streamlabs. I completely blame Streamlabs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move us over to the um, Harry Potter music. Ooh, Harry Potter music. <laughs> and we have the screen back. Okay. Um, that was wild. Every single screen on my computer froze up with Streamlabs on it and went black. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, thank you. I'll pin that light goal, guys. Let's start a new light goal. Um, so, Paige says light goal is 20. Um, we're starting back at the very beginning again, guys. So I'll go ahead and get that pinned. And guys, I am so sorry it crashed. Welcome back, Key to My Heart, Bredonia, Billy, Doge, and Paige. Um, if you have any friends you want to invite to the stream, feel free to invite them because we lost everyone, guys. We lost everyone. I'm going to go ahead and um, get us on a page here. Wow, that mega crashed. That was a hardcore crash. I'm going to get our stream utilities back up and running. And we're going to get back going where we were at. Let's see. You guys already got us back up to seven likes. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to hope that we don't have any more issues. Um, it seems like Streamlabs is deciding to be a butthead. <laughs> so that's definitely a thing that it did. But we're up and running. Let me get us back in the game. Oliver, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, let me get myself actually on the game screen. Okay. A in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. Oh, we have a, used to be the Minister a message from Lenora as well. That's pretty quick. So I think we're up and running and good. Let me fix one more thing on this so we'll be for sure good. We're kind of... Let me get this to where I can actually get on here. I know, right? It's just like, yeah, this is uh, happening. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Now, I do have a set to where it's subscriber only mode simply because there's been some trolls going around these Harry Potter streams and kind of messing with stuff. Um, so I do have us on subscriber only mode, so we should be good. And um, let's figure out what we were doing again, but welcome back. Yeah, it, it went down fast. Um, so, thank goodness we're up and running again. And hopefully that is all of the tomfoolery it needed to do. Um, we got a new wand handle, apparently. Um, I, this celestial one's actually kind of neat because it's got, like, stars in it. Um, but I think I still kind of like the wood one at the moment. But the celestial one is pretty nice. Maybe we can play with this one for a little bit. And if we decide to change our mind, we can. And let's get on our way to whichever quest we are supposed to be doing. I want talents. I'm hoping we'll unlock that soon. We're going to be helping the goblin, our goblin painter friend. And we need to dodge. Apparently, I never dodge. I've cast Incendio a bunch of times. We need to dodge roll nine more times. So, and... We also have this quest um, about a treasure map in the castle. So let's do card it away. Yeah, definitely. That was a shocking crash. I was um, a bit surprised. Quite a bit surprised by that. Let's see if we have anything in here real quick. Oh, combat. Dragon High Protector's Cloak. Defeat 10 Dark Wizards. Defeat Spiders. Defeat dueling, uh, complete dueling feats. And these other ones are locked, so as we encounter them, they unlock. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's all good, Doge. Welcome back. Welcome back. The stream decided it was crashing, um, and we had to fix it. We completed this. We can grab that real quick. That was a bit bonkers, honestly, guys. The stream just wanted to see if my adrenaline was functional and it wanted me to play the game in high anxiety mode for a little bit. Okay, let's go help our goblin friend. Because, I mean, they beat him up and they took his paintings. That's legit not cool. Um, it looks like we're going to take a nice long run to go help our goblin friend, which is fine. After what Renrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. 
Oh, it's all good. Um, we did um, part of Natty's quest, and we're going to go help our painter friend now. But yeah, while well, you were gone, the entire stream decided to crash. That was concerning. Well, let's uh, search for gatherables. These are rocks, I think. So we can just literally hit those. That'll be good. Because we can always use more of the moonstones. Wandering through the woods at night in game is kind of its whole own vibe, which I really appreciate and like. And mining with a wand is also pretty darn cool. Okay, we got those rocks and stuff. And uh, we're off to help our friend. He's a goat. Okay, I was curious if they're eating berries or something. I would have felt like a jerk stealing goat's berries, though. Well, hello. Spiders. And a bag. We definitely need to dodge roll some, so let's attack these spiders. Because I think we have to be in combat for the dodging account. We're just going to dodge a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a, ooh, a jerk just dodging so much. I'm hoping some of those counted. Let's see if any of those counted. I know fire is far more effective against them. Ooh, ooh, we're right under spider. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, terrifying. Tego. I'm hoping at least some of these dodges count. Okay, let's see if that counted towards our quest. We can collect here a spider fang. Do we have another one fall? I think that was it. So let's see if any of those counted. One. One of those counted. So we have to legit fully avoid an attack. We can't just dodge all willy-nilly. So anytime we can avoid attack by dodging, we need to do dodging. Because we got a lot of those to go. Or maybe two of those counted. I think we were on one. So we did make progress, just not a lot. Rebellion. Oh, hello. I'm going to uh, dodge instead of using that spell. That should have got us one Lost more. I'm on the right track. So long as that got us one more, then I'm understanding how it wants it. Yep, it got us one more. So we're good. So whenever we see triangle, we're just going to dodge instead for now, since we're needing to complete that quest. Okay. Here we go, guys. Rebellio. Rebellio, Rebellio, Rebellio. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you guys came back. Hopefully the others that were here will come back. This must be it. Okay. Let's Rebellio the encampment. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Okay. Before we go entering... Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. There's a lot of goblin loyalists. Should we take them all out? Or sneak? Well, he can't jump over the back. Rebellion. I guess we're going to take out a whole goblin encampment. Let's go ahead and save real quick just to make sure that we're okay. And here we go, guys. Yes, the Brady Bunch. Definitely the Brady Bunch. We're going to save here. Okay. 
Steal a Lars Ranger's crossbow bow bolt. How? Keep two enemies airborne for five seconds. Dueling feats. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to be going in this way. I was thinking about sneaking, but we're just going to go in. Hey, Trugany, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great game. It's a great game. Welcome aboard, by the way. Our stream just, they're totally going to see us. Oh no. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's definitely a fun game. Well done. Incendio. Oh no, it wants incendio. We'll we'll dodge instead. Oh goodness, I'm gonna get us killed, guys. No! Woo, circle! We don't have enough of cooldown right now. Okay, we're alive. I need to deal with that guy. Oh no. He is like way up there. Huh. I will have my revenge! Oh come on. Oh no. <laughs> okay. R1. I won't bet. Oh, that was meant for me. Okay. Incendio. Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys, a bit hectic. I decided to take on the whole camp. Ooh, hello. That hurt. Ooh, he's coming from behind. There he is. Okay. We need to break that shield with R2. Come on. That's problematic. That's on cooldown. Okay, we definitely need to break his shield. Triangle. Really? No? Okay. I'm not understanding how to break his shield, apparently. Still hoping to survive this run. When are you going to give up? Incendio. No? I'm sure I have to hit him with that. Oh, look at you. Well done. Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do? I'm not sure how we break his shield. No, that's a better thing you did. Incendio. Okay, um, kind of, uh, not sure how we break his shield, guys. There, we broke his shield. I guess we just had to keep doing it. That did not want to break. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a thing. Yeah, that shield did not want to break. Let's gather stuff now that we, uh, decide to go hog wild and take on the entire encampment. We might as well gather everything in here. That was bonkers. How do we unlock that chest? Incendio. No? Lumos. Oh, come on. This chest does not want to do anything. Oh? Okay. So we lift that one to search this one? 
that's what we're doing here? Incendio. Okay. Levioso. So literally the point was to lift that chest. Now this needs Mallow Sweet. And there's gonna be a puzzle here for us to solve. Revelio. So let's look around and gather our stuff real quick. Ah, uh, yes, I wish this had online multiplayer too. I really do. Let's go up there. Because now that we took out all these people, we can just kind of gather everything. I wonder what it's gonna want from us. I guess we'll use the Mallow Suite. And we do need to free the carts from the encampment as well, but let's try the Mallow Suite thing first. Is YouTube acting up? Oh no. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Um, Lady Neo, try refreshing the page and see if it's still acting up for you. Okay, over there. Revelio. And sorry for acting up. Incendio. I wonder if that's what it wants. Interesting. Revelia. That is there. That is up there. And that's way down there. And those are swords. I wonder what this one wants. Lumos. Incendio. No? Huh. I'm not a hundred percent sure on how to do this puzzle. Okay. It's definitely one of Merlin's puzzles, but we have this one here. We have this one here. And then we have one, I believe, right outside the camp gate, right over here. Um, let me grab this real quick. I just don't know what they want. And that one here. So let's look at our other spell options. Because we have Leviosa, Accio, Fire, the Hiding One, Lumos, and Reparo. Maybe Reparo? Let's try that real quick. Repairo. No, not Reparo. Interesting. Oops. Oh, likes not working? Weird. I don't think that's... Um... Oh, you mean for Nightbot. I think we had a subscribe one. I don't know if I had a like one. Um, let me check uh, the commands list. Um, I'll have to make one if I didn't have one already. Because I'm not sure what this thing wants. Incendio. So let's try fire on each of these real quick. Because I don't think fire is what it wants, but... Let's run out here. Because that'd be a bit of a run for fire on all three. It's not fire. I don't know what this one wants. There's a symbol. Rebellion. It has nothing. Interesting. Let's go back in and work on his quest, because I don't know what this particular Merlin quest wants. Let 
Hey, glad to have you back. Glad to have you back. Oh. Interesting. I'll have to add one back for the like if it's not there. I don't know what's going on with that. I remember having a subscribe and a member one for sure. So we got these. Enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Oh, so all I had to do is open it. What are these wanting? Rebellion. Incendio. Levioso. Levioso. Um, what are we doing with these though? No. Is there a purpose to that? Maybe you get out of the way of the cart? No? Okay. I freed the carts from the encampment. So I did what he wanted. I just cannot figure out this Merlin puzzle. Oh, you mean your YouTube's acting up? Interesting. Mine had a major crash, but that was Streamlabs. Uh, my YouTube seems to be normal, though. Maybe it wants the balls to go to this thing? Because that's the only thing I can see out of the ordinary. Drag him with us? Maybe we need balls. Is that the point? We need balls. Okay, we need balls, guys. <laughs> so let's go steal these ones. That makes more sense. So we're gonna Leviosa, and then we're gonna Leviosa, and then we're gonna Accio, and we're gonna drag him with Accio, and we're gonna drag him into this Merlin quest thing. Okay, we got that one done. Now we need to find the last set of ones that go out here. Rebellion. We're missing one more set. We just have to find them. At least this one's not a timed one. Yes, yes. Discord command isn't working. Oh, it's working. It's just being slow, I think. Here we go. I don't know why it's being slow. Need to find this last set. So, you saw those metal balls we had. Um, we're looking for a set f to drag to here as well. Are they over here? Incendium. Found them. Come with me. Found them. We solved a Merlin puzzle, guys. Leviosa. There we go. One Merlin puzzle down. Oh goodness, yes, yeah, so it was a bit difficult. <laughs> I was wondering what those were for. We did it, guys. Yeah, Nightbox being buggy. I'm glad it's working at least a little bit. So we completed some Merlin trials, and that's under one of our challenges. Um, I wonder if it's in quest, main story, side quest. It's not in quest. I don't think it's an exploration, is it? Oh, it is. Increase storage for gear. Yes. Okay. So we need to do six more. So we got increased storage for our gear. So that's going to help us make more money because we can hold more gear and then sell more gear. That's actually pretty darn awesome, guys. That was hard, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was hard. 26, 28, 22. Um, this one has a trait 2 slot. 
Um, but honestly, we might as well just use the higher offense because we can't assign traits yet. So let's equip that and then let's make our gloves look like the ones they did before. There we go. And let's see what we got hat wise. That's 23. That 36 one's still our best. And let's see if this one's still our best. Still our best, but we got some stuff to sell. So very good. And we need to head back to Arn. So let's go ahead and head on back to Arn. And then speak to the portrait of Eldritch Diggory as our main story quest. And Professor Hecate's assignment too. Oh, we completed her dodging quest. Awesome. So we're doing good. So let's go ahead and talk to our friend. And um, we'll turn in our quest with our painter friend. It's just gonna be a nice little run. I think we got everything in there that we could. Yes, making money is a good, good bonus. And thank you all for re-liking the stream. Oh, hello. Mongrels, dark mongrels. I wonder. Yep. Oh. Let's get materials. Mongrel fur. Oh, we got some rocks because I was really bad at aiming. Let's make sure we got everything. Mongrel fur. How interesting. Let's try that again. Sometimes when we do those spells, it does pull the view very far down to the ground in the grass, and make it a little bit hard to see when we do the ancient spells. I don't know if it's maybe just the way I'm already angled before I'm going into the spell or if it's for everyone else. I think we could teleport back here, actually, because there's a teleport spot, isn't there? Make our lives a little bit easier. Yeah, let's um, zoom on in. We should be able to select. Yeah, that'll make it easier. We'll teleport. <laughs> I'm still shocked it crashed like that. I I'd fare in a little place like this. I've never had Streamlabs do that to my entire computer before like that. It's a bit wild. Hey, I, I got your carts coming back to you, Arn. You're here for my wares. Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. Welcome oh, back, Fredonia Crossing. Welcome back. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. Um, I'm going to say it was difficult because it was. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is Aww, good between that's us. that's so sweet. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Okay. I'm gonna fix one thing, guys. We got all a goblin made helmet. To Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my way. Okay, I gotta free my mouse from the screen one sec, guys. I'm just making sure we're good. Okay, yep, the audio looks right for the stream. Okay, we're good. And I got back on my controller. So that's good. We completed his quest. While we're down here, let's go ahead and sell some stuff since we're right at a merchant. Because we know we have our... Oh, hell, I'm standing on the table. We know we have our best gear equipped, so we might as well sell the rest oh, since we can, can transmog. Um, let's see your wares what do you have for and buy my stuff. What can I help you with today? I'm surprised we're actually starting to get money, which is nice. Ooh, that's, oh, we got to level 14, and those are actually um, an increase for some of these. So let's get rid of the ones that are not. Uh, 
And um, let's equip our increase. So that'll be actually good. I hope to see you again getting money, sometime. guys. Getting all that money, money. Okay. Now this is a trait two, but we don't know how to apply traits yet, so we might as well put on the trait two, but I'm gonna hold on those trait three since they are very close on the defense. But for now, we'll put these on. Oh, those are ugly. Let's fix that. And we're gonna go ahead and just hide those for now. There we go. Yeah, it's making all kinds of good progress. All kinds of good progress. And I'm, I'm glad y'all came back and my sincere apologies about the stream doing that. Honestly, I've never seen Streamlabs do that before. It's kind of wild. So, um, let's turn in Professor Hecate's assignment and get Expelliarmus. And um, let's then go do a uh, Prisoner of Love quest. So we're gonna locate this in the map real quick. And we should just be able to teleport. Right there. I think if we go against the defense, uh, defense against the dark arts class, I'll be good. Yeah, we'll go there. Got your food, very nice. Oh, thank you, Paige. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Made me feel better when you guys came back. We were so close to getting what was our 35 light goal. It's okay, though. I'm very glad to have y'all back. Okay, I don't seem to be tracking my quest, or if I am, it's uh, being kind of weird. Maybe we just need to go in the room? Okay. There we go. That's all I wanted. Ooh. Expelliarmus! <laughs> oh. That's a classroom montage. How oh, nice. Oh, thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. I blame Streamlabs. I have Streamlabs Premium, too. I play those guys well over $100 a year to have Premium. Because there's a lot of features that are very nice to have in premium and if something goes wrong you get immediate support instead of having to wait days for him to respond so i expect I better of stream labs guys <laughs> you to do. let's talk to miss heckett here miss professor heckett professor i completed oh it's all of so good though you need this game in well, your life done. then you're ready to learn expelliarmus expelliarmus Pay close attention the disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter Okay. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Okay. Expelliarmus. Good work. The You're going to love it, Paige. In practice. You're going to love it. Okay, I guess um We need to equip it somewhere. So I'm trying to decide where I'm putting it because we don't have talents yet, so we can't get a second one of these squares. I guess we'll put it here for now. Wait, come on. R2. Okay. So we're going to practice this one um, on the dummies, I guess? You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Expelliarmus! Let's give him a second. Accio. Incendio! Still at it, I see. Okay. Cool. We got a new spell, guys. We got a new spell. Wait till switch? Definitely. I understand having to wait till switch. Honestly, I'm not much of a person for waiting. That's why I have a switch, a PS5, and my PC, and I have a Steam Deck. I might let the Steam Deck go. I'm not sure. 
I find I'm mostly using my PC, my Switch, and honestly, I haven't been touching my PS5. It's been kind of wild. So, let's go to... We have a couple side quests, but I want to progress the main quest because we haven't got our broom yet. So let's go to our main quest real quick. And as we go, we can pick up side quests. Like, there's all these. We'll probably teleport around and grab them all. Because uh, I want to make sure we're doing our side quest for sure. But I want my broom. Let's teleport in here. We do need to grab these two... Um, teleport spots as well, but we'll teleport here for now. Oh yeah, it's definitely a wonderful game. I see doing all the side quests and the main quests taking 100 hours. I see that definitely being a thing. Um, but if you're doing like actually discovering things, 100% in the game, doing gathering, doing crafting, doing decorating, I could see it um, being far more hours, far more hours in the 100. Okay, so over here I did see a couple other places. So we have a quest. It appears Gareth Weasley wants to speak with me. Yes, gold and conjuration spellcraft. We need to track that quest as well. But let's do this one and then let's grab these two points and speak with Mr. Weasley. Because I think that's going to give us the um, room of requirement. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Oral Recruitment <gasps> Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect and... Most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Of course. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit oh, my yes. portrait Welcome in back, home, Welcome in the nearby back. hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Ooh. Let's ask him these things, because I want to hear How what he has to say. How book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. Oh, no. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Okay. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. Aww. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. Okay. When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago, 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. Aww. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. No. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. That sounds rough. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind. Both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Very I shall nice. I see you there. Soon, I hope. We have a new quest. And, um... Vellio. Let's go ahead and grab these two waypoints, uh, the two quick travel points. And we need to speak with um, Mr. Weasley. So we'll grab this first quick travel point here. But that does mean we need to untrack this other quest, or it's going to try to take us to it above all else. <laughs> so, we'll make sure we're tracking properly. Yep, we're going to grab that waypoint, and then we'll grab the next waypoint, we'll talk to Weasley, and then we'll go on with this quest. Oh yeah, so Hedgy, what happened was, um, there's a streaming software I use that lets us stream uh, to YouTube. 
and it crashed everything. Um, so it was my streaming software, it malfunctioned. So we had to make a whole brand new stream. I'm really glad you came back though. We're gonna grab these uh, travel points real quick. Ooh, hello, that was convenient. Pear portrait. If one tickles the pear in the still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry into the Hogwarts kitchens. Well, how? Lumos. That's really cool. I don't know how we do that, um, but good to know that that's a thing. We're just gonna grab some waypoints real quick. Well, we grabbed this one already. Okay. So maybe it's this one over here we need. Ooh, hello. Rebellion. There we go. We got a field guide page. The Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Oh, how beautiful. Okay. We came into everyone's dinner and we're just like casting spells. Oh, ho, ho, we got a puzzle. Lumos. Okay. So nine plus seven is 16, which means we need eight, which means we need spider for the first question mark. Where's Mr. Eight-Legged Spider? There we go. And the bottom one is zero plus 11, it means we need three, so zero, one, two, three, we need Hydra. And that should let us in. I guess we don't really need Lumos. There we go. So we have a small chest and a big chest in here. A hippogriff statue. Oh, cute. And a teal striped attire. We got a new look. Yeah, it's on um, Laneo. It's on PS5. And oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Oh, YouTube, YouTube kicked you out too. Oh no. YouTube just didn't want us to have a stream at all, did they? <laughs> Oh no, no. But definitely on the PS5, and um, yeah, I like those puzzles. Um, just a little touch of something Rebellion. nice. I hear it dinging for something. What is it dinging for? A lock. It's dinging for this lock, and there's a treasure chest in that room. Okay, so let's go grab our other waypoint real quick on the map here, and then we're gonna talk to Mr. Weasley. So this is the waypoint I like to grab. The viaduct courtyard. It'll be a little bit of a run, but it'll be worth it to have these waypoints um, for us to be able to um, travel more easily as we go forward. That's one thing I kind of do recommend for you guys when you play. Um, go ahead while you're in an area and just grab all the waypoints that are in within a reasonable distance and then go about doing your quest. Oh, hello, Leviosa. I need to reassign. There we go. We'll grab that real quick. I kind of feel like I'm going to use... Ooh, when you go out the door. Levioso. More than... Disarming them, you know? We'll go ahead and run down here. And we'll grab... This. Awesome. Now let's find Mr. Weasley. Hello, Mr. Weasley. You are our next waypoint. How exciting. Mr. Weasley. Oh. This school's so fun. Oh, it's all good. Um, I'm playing on PC, but I'm using a PS5 controller. Um, I like that mix because... Um, it's easier than having my PS5 hooked up to my computer, hooked up to a capture card to stream. 
Um, whereas playing on PC, I just have to turn on my computer and hook a PS5 controller to it, you know? Oh, thank you, Doge. That's so sweet of you. That's so sweet of you. That would be amazing. That was an interesting yes, game. Yes, such a good Thanks game, Hedgy. Such a good wasn't game. precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate Aww. your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Aww. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Oh, fun, Kiana. I hope work's going well. Um, we're making all kinds of progress. Says we need to talk to him again. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that Fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person. We're making I need. more main story quests, see, so I'm hoping we'll get our broom for a soon. Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not Aww, my own Aw, thank you. Bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage Ooh. to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyjukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. Let's go with this in the ceiling. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness. It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. <laughs> Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. Okay. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. Oh, you should be the first says it's been an hour, guys. We should drink some water. We should drink some water. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her uh, reins a bit. Ah, get water. Okay. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Descending for sweets. A uh, one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. One-eyed witch statue, here we go. Also, I don't know how to do these yet. I've seen people have like a key flying in front of it and then they smack it into the keyhole. But I don't know where the key is or how to smack it into the keyhole if I didn't know where it was. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, a puzzle door. Let's see. Um, we have the one question mark there. Is the other question mark? Revelio. I think the other question mark's hidden behind here, so we can't do this one yet. I wish we could though. I just don't know how to find the key. Okay. Statue of a one-eyed witch. It says down. I think we've gone up too high. Okay, let's pull map real quick. And see what it has to say about this. Well, it says it's basically there. He went down a flight of stairs. Okay. Absolutely. I need to catch up on uh, tag streams. Because I have been... Uh, I tried to watch his stream... I made it through the first one and halfway through the second one, and I didn't want to see spoilers. And I caught up to where I wouldn't see spoilers, and I went to go watch more of the stream, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're going the right way now. 
I hope we are. Well, One-Eyed Witch. It sent me back to the same starting area. That's what it's doing. So let's go on back down here. Well, One-Eyed Witch. In a corridor. What does that one go to? One-eyed witch in a corridor. Hopefully it's down here. Ooh, let's, uh... Reveal this real quick. I hope it's done here. Hufflepuff barrels. Um, we have to knock in the pattern of Helga Hufflepuff. That's cute that we haven't got that yet. Bethania. Broke something for sure. Okay, well we found the entrance to our dorm room. Find the statue of the One-Eyed Starry Witch. Let's read the description on the quest again real quick. On the third floor corridor. So I think this counts as a basement. If that counts as the basement, is this the first floor? And does that count as second floor? It says that way, but when we go that way, it doesn't take us where we need to be. Let's try going this way. Let's see if we find it. I feel like we're going back down to where we were before. Maybe it's in here. Okay, the one-eyed witch. This kind of took us out of where we need to be. I feel like I'm getting us lost. We need to turn back around. Some of these are a bit interesting to try to find. One-Eyed Witch on the third floor corridor. I wish it told us which floor we're on. I know, right, Paige? I'm awful with directions, so I'm like the blind leading the blind right now. So, uh, we might be searching for this for a minute. So if you don't have snacks and water, it's probably good for you. Third floor corridor. I don't see a witch here. I wonder if I can light this thing on fire. Incendio. Nope, apparently that's not want to be lit on fire. And if I go down here, we went down these stairs, it wasn't down there. If we go up here, it will take us up a floor. And maybe we can come back in this way. I wonder if this question mark ties to that second question mark down there. Corridor. Maybe it's in here. This looks like the right statue. Oh, found her. Now, what was the password? Found her. Founder, founder, founder. Thank goodness. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Okay. Revelio. We're going on a journey, guys. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Okay, let's get our spell on. There we go. Repair.
Very nice. We shall fix this. We shall fix this. I'm glad we found that. Because I wasn't 100% sure where it was going to be. That seems to have done the trick. Okay, we the fixed the now. lift. And there's a chest over here, so let's grab that real quick. I'll definitely take that lovely chest. And there's a lever out here and a lever in here. I guess we pull this one. Here we go, guys. Here we go. And thank you everyone for coming back after the stream crashed. I'm super glad that we were able to get up and running again. It's gonna be kind of weird to have two of the same day's stream posted up, but I literally titled the second one, Streamlabs Crashed We're Back, so hopefully that'll work out Rebellion. well enough. There's some things to gather down here. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Oh, clump juice. We need that for one of our potions. Very cool. I don't think we're missing anything over there. Okay, awesome. Let's head on our merry way here. Wonder if we're gonna need to sneak at any point. No, that's not gonna burn up the spider webs? Darn. Not a fan of spider webs. Does it? Okay, I just had to be closer. Cause I did not want to walk through spider webs. That sounded awful. Rebellion. There's a chest. Ooh, a scarf. I definitely hear something around here. Um, Leviosa? Leviosa. No? Trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? I think I'm supposed to Leviosa. Maybe I have to target the platform? There we go. Awesome. Revelio. Revelio, 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 Revelio. to have to get past this. Okay. Revelio. We can go down there for a second, see what's down here. Some more hard clump juice. I guess we're just gonna jump across that and see if it's good enough. There's another one down there that we used to get up here. So let's just sprint and jump. And there we go. Repair. Let's repair. I can hardly wait till we get a talent. Repair. Because it'll be so nice. To not have to keep swapping back and forth between these. <laughs> Oops. Bad aim. There we go. Made it across. I suppose we need to burn up these spider webs. Is there something over here? Avelia. No, just this way. One more to go and I'll make it across. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our spell again. I kind of feel like we should already have that talent. Prepare. But that we don't. <laughs> it's okay though. I can't hit it from here. I can hit it from here. Okay. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Okay. Rebellion. Accio. There we go. Oh no. Okay, well that worked. Let me 
maybe a bit backwards, but um, that, that definitely worked. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I thought we were gonna fall. We've almost made it through here, guys. Watch these get like mega complicated. So we got that chest, and we have something this over here. Out. Let's go ahead and hit up this chest real quick. We got some dueling gloves. There we go. Anything over there? I need to find a way to open that gate. Oh, fire. It wants fire. Incendio. There we go. Something Let's see what we got in here. Must be close to honey juice. I wasn't expecting that to be so relatively easy. That's nice. Some free money, I'll take that. And we're going to Honeydukes, guys. Two streams at once? Oh, very nice. YouTube had an update. Oh. Interesting. Watching wrestling? How fun. Let's see. We have that chest there. And that's the passage where we came from. Honeydukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, we're gonna have so much money. Stings for Gareth? Okay. I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to be. What do we need this ladder for? Rebellion. I'm curious why we need that ladder. And why it's able for it to be levitated. I bet you there's some sort of puzzle that goes along with that. Hey, definitely, Keaton, my heart. Thank you for coming back for this uh, second part of the stream. I'm not sure why we can levitate that ladder. Let's, while we're here, let's come out here and... Check out Honey Dukes. Ooh, he ran away. We scared him. We're in the shop while it's closed. Or maybe it's not closed because I can see him. Look at that, that's so cool. We should probably go back because that chest is behind a locked door and we scared the house goblin. <laughs> I don't know what we do with that ladder. So, return to Gareth. It doesn't say we have to go back through the tunnel, so let's teleport. To the Hogwarts map. <clears throat> to our lovely quest. And we'll just run right to there. That'll get us there. That'll be good. That'll definitely be good, guys. Okay, and we should be pretty close and be able to turn this right back into him. There we go. There he is. I got it for you. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydew? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywig stings. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so we got that done. Oops. It was popping up with stuff. Defend, uh, descending for sweets. That's good. So. Prisoner of Love's next. I wonder if there's a specific side quest we need to be doing to unlock our mat, our broom, or if we need to keep going with the main quest. So maybe just go with the main quest. Hmm. Let's uh, check our map and see what quest we can pick up as well. So 
So we completed the quest over here. In the astronomy wing, we have a quest for Venomous Valor and the um, Dedalian Keys. And then here we have a quest for, ooh, Summoner's Court Match 1 for looking for a pwn to challenge. House of Fierce, Time to Feed Natty, and Leander. I don't share them capable competitor. I look forward to finding new opponents. Summoner's Court Match Board. And over here, we haven't gotten any of these travel points. Interesting. So I'm going to search real quick and see what we need uh, quest-wise. Definitely, Julia. Thank you for hanging out. Um, to see what we can do to get our broom. Let's see. Hogwarts um, quest to unlock broom. Flying class. So we need to do more of the main story. And let's see. Hogwarts unlock room oh lordy unlock room of requirement let's see what we got here tomes and tribulations mission concerning jackdaw so basically, we need to keep going with his main story quest. We don't need to bother with these side story ones right now. So let's focus down the main story quest with Prisoner of Love. And we'll come back for these other side story quests as we go. And that'll be good. And let's go ahead and see where it's having us go. On the world map. Way up here. So let's look at the Hogsmeade map, maybe. I think we should travel here. I'm excited for the broom, too. Basically, we just need to keep focused on main story quests because we do, we're doing side story quests. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool in the window at night. Speak to Helen Thistlewood. Because we've been doing side story quests as we go, but I want to focus this down. Upper Hogsfield. We're only 412 whatever their measurements is away. So I don't think there's any further we can go north on fast travel. We're just going to have to hoof it. Um, which will be fine. And we'll get to see some scenery. Oh, hello. No? There we go. We got another field guide page. Always nice. So yeah, it looks like we're hoofing it. Um, so we are going to get to see some pretty scenery. And we're going to grab a fast travel point while we're over this way. There's a mirror in here. And a chest. Oops. <laughs> I'm clutching it up. Curious. Curious, curious. Lumos. A fence post and a path to a house. Literally just a fence post. Found it. Right there. That's all it wanted. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. Hey, Tamika. How are you doing? Good to see you here. Good to see you here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I feel you on that, lady. It, it can be hard to... Keep up with what else going on when people are coming and going. I feel ya. Well, 
Got another one of those. And let's um, head on our way and see what we can't do. <gasps> Look at how beautiful it is out here. It's a field of flowers. That scarecrow is cool. Hello, Mr. Goat. We're just gonna run through your yard real quick. Pardon me. We're just gonna go straight through everything. This place has seen better days. Aw, that's super sweet, Patrick. Super sweet. Or it can feed you. Okay. I'm trying not to get sidetracked from this because I want to focus down the main quest and get our broom. Because where we started at four, we've been going four and a half hours and we don't have the broom yet. We're going to grab this fast travel point first. There we go. We got flu flames. <gasps> this must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. So we are going to grab the I'm quest. Oh, shoot. As we go, I'm going to jump down off the edge of this, apparently. Um, but we're going to focus on the main quest, and we're probably going to come back and do these ones later. But let's grab our quest first. Me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Okay. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Okay. Claire I wonder if there's a limit to, to how many quests we can carry. So, like, let's say, Rebellion. let's say I want to just pick these up and not do them now. Is it going to clutter a quest log that will all of a sudden be full, you know? Everything's so beautiful in here. Now, if we're going to help her out, we got to loot her. We got to loot her house. That's just how it works when you help out people in games. <gasps> Ooh, avian brown handle for a wand. We came in here, we eat her snacks, we steal her stuff. And then eventually we do her quest. <laughs> Look at her. Let me out. She's in the way. I'm stuck, guys. <laughs> I can't get out. She's in the way. Let's go over here and see if she moves. Okay, now let's try to get out again. Nope. She's like stuck in that door. Let's fast travel real quick to the point that we just unlocked. <laughs> That's a waste of a fast travel. All good. That's an interesting bug. We definitely got trapped in her house. Okay, there we go. Wonder who lives here. This place is really cool. It is a very, very nice looking game. Huh. It wants us to Lumos some candles with a bridge, an arch, and this. I wonder if this will stay in my inventory. Let's grab a screenshot just in case. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Oh, good. We're hanging on to the map. So it should be in our inventory. Yep, we got another map. Oh, 
Okay. And while we're in here, let's make sure we have our highest um, statted gear equipped. We don't. 34 is our best statted. So let's put that on and we'll just change what it looks like. We'll check here since we have new things as well. That's also 34, which is an increase. We'll put that on and we're gonna have to change what our stuff looks like in a second. 24, 28. Well, wow, that's actually kind of nice looking. So let's um let's change the way our gear is looking. Just kind of maybe stick with these for now. Cause it's just kind of easy to default and be like, yeah, we'll do that. See, that's a 32, that's a 34. We don't use traits yet, so we'll just use this one. And um yeah. We'll go ahead and change our look. I think we're gonna do no scarf for now. This little um, teal striped attire is actually kind of cute with this over robe. We may go with this for a bit and just kind of change up our look. Let's look at this other scarf because I could swear we had a green one. I don't think the green's going with the teal so much. There's our Hufflepuff one. Fringed house scarf, loosened house emblem scarf. We look civilized. Maybe let's change our gloves. Maybe something with brown in it. Those are a bit much. Maybe something with green to go with our top. That's actually kind of cute. And let's check out our new wand handle. So we have this one. And this one, that's like a gold wand handle, avian brown. I think we'll go with this one for now. The avian brown, um, not avian brown, the um, shell honey brown. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's a look. <laughs> On our way. Um, I was stuck in the house for a bit there. That was rough. Ooh, just replay the music. Okay, let's talk to her because she's got a quest I want to pick up. I couldn't help it over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. No. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice when change a of pace of instead of the pre-order gear. demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Hmm. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Okay, we picked up another quest. This is our home. Now, I believe there's another quest here for us to pick up. Field guide pages. We can grab those while we're here. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Glad to have you here. Our stream crashed Seems earlier. Like things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Revenia. I didn't realize we could track the field guide pages. That's cool. Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as Butterbeer, but... 
one never knows. Very nice. And then there's chests and stuff. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, it's locked, so we can't get that chest. I think this one is also locked. We got the fast travel point. I do believe we cannot get that one right now. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Dear sister, it's been some time since we heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've all made our peace with your decision to become an Auror, as dangerous as it is. You must live your life and follow your path. You are doing so in the service of the wizarding world. I'm proud to call you sister. I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near town. Poor thing's most certain to learn a tragic lesson about the fundamental velocity of locomotives. Right soon. Edel Eddie Thistlewood. <laughs> I can't speak. Let's talk to this person. There's coins on the table. There's a letter over here. The Thistle and Badge, Helen Thistlewood, reflections of a former Auror. Retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoy the leisure time, of course, but I do miss the excitement of hunting magical fugitives. You know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing the Ukrainian iron belly through the Muggle city and then obliviating all of the Muggles who saw you? Or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chomping cabbages, using only a single basket of bouncing bulbs? When the Ministry finally makes all of my old cases public, my neighbors will never look at me the same again. Old Madam Thistlewood down the lane is the one who put that nasty brute so-and-so in Azkaban. For now, I can merely insinuate, lest I divulge something confidential. I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Azkaban, not an appealing thought. Well, I suppose I'd check in my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. Well, there we go. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, we mega crashed earlier. I'm glad you came back to relurk. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rebellion. Ooh, there's another part. <laughs> and another part. Oh, that's long. We're going to read all of those guys, so heads up. Thistle and Badge, Helen Thistlewood, Reflections of a Former Aura, Part 2. <laughs> I have lost a lot of time these days to reflect upon my career. I wonder if the good we did balances out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I'd like to think so. But then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away in Azkaban. If I were, then perhaps I should feel differently. It's a quandary without a solution, or at least not one that I am likely to solve. This is the problem with retirement. It leaves one with too much time to dwell on bygone problems. But there's nothing we can do about it. Ah, uh, and my bluebells died. Okay, part three of her letters. I completely understand, Paige. They use a lot of weird words in these sometimes. Um, part three, reflections. Um, Helen Thistlewood, a former Auror. I'm still dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day. I always made certain that I could defend my decisions before the Wizengout. I'm probably saying that wrong, guys. Should the need arise. Um, I was required to do um, this on rare occasions, and it was never a pleasant experience, no matter how confident I was. Despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent, and when I hung up my badge, I left behind um, quite a few unsolved cases. If I had all the time in the world, I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity to rise or, re, re, ah, arise to revisit one, goodness, guys, I'm going to fill my words now, and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. Never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they are they are yours to begin with. I fear I fear that in our haste to meet out um, to met M E T E to met out justice, we may inadvertently become the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, and I'm through with gardening. I need a new hobby. Oh, she's like I'm done with this. I don't want to garden anymore. Let's talk to her now that we read her her diary pages, basically. 
Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. Oh, no. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Okay. We're gonna go with her to Azkaban and see what happens. Oh, what a horrible story. Well, if you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Okay. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Okay, off we go. to keep them at bay for now though be aware you may feel a wave of despair it will pass thank you for the warning this really is a dismal place but we'll be out of here soon enough now follow me the dementals okay calm us now. so guys let's so, do um a momentary oh, I never thought of um a momentary break um, we're gonna call it like, let's say three to five minutes. Let's grab some water. Um, I need to check on the cats because they're getting into something. And I'm gonna put this on the Be Right Back page. And then we will literally be right back in like three to five minutes or so. Um, so, hang tight. And uh, we will be right back. See you guys in just a minute, okay? And sorry for the cliffhanger, but it should be good.
Hey guys, I'm back. I'm getting a swap back over. Okay. Hang tight for one second while I was up. I realized that I'm still cold. I grabbed my hoodie. <laughs> Definitely grabbed the hoodie. Thank you for the welcome back. I'm hoping between the the hoodie thing and uh, and the heat that I will get a little bit warmer. <laughs> Cause holy shnikes, it is cold. It is cold as cold. But we're basically back. Ah, uh, apparently my water fi filter pitcher is empty too. So I grabbed some of those body armor lights while I was out earlier today. So I got one of those too. So that'll be nice. Oh, hello, 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 Doge. Thank you guys for welcoming me back. And sorry that break was closer to five minutes and three. Or at least I think it was. I'm bad with relative time. Okay, there we go. We got one warm hoodie thing. Ooh, a late dinner. Very nice, Lady Neo. Very nice. Ah, I'm getting resituated. Always nice to have a little bit more hydration. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're in Azkaban and we're on a cliffhanger. Let me um, get the mouse back. There we go. Now I got our controller back. Ask a band for myself. Nasty dementors. Not even I could convince the ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Ask a band. Careful around, Anne. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. That gate door is open. Wonder if we're allowed to go in there. We should probably stay with her. Ooh I had my I can't We're in Azkaban, guys. You. you don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. All around the darkness. My only friend. My only hope. No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Mm. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student. From Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Yes, there's Dementors here, Lady Neo. <clears throat> there are Dementors. I would want to search too. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, now you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay. You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... Okay. I guess she went off to the medical ward? But Madame Thistlewood, I... 
Oh, all right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Okay. So, that's a thing. Um, let's go find Jackdaw's cave. I just wanted to make sure we grabbed all these quests. I think we did. So let's go ahead and track um, the quest. Find what Jackdaw left for Anne. And we have these other side quests that we grabbed, but we're not going to do those right now. We're going to do the main quest. So let's go find Jackdaw's cave in Upper Hogsmeade. Here's where we are, and I suppose we're going basically a little bit north. Okay. Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Serious levels of uh-oh. That was a bit wild. And we have this teleport spot. Yep, we already activated that. We're good. So, um... Not sure how I'd fare in a little place I hope like she's this. okay. I wonder what that red thing is right over here on the map. Does this mean it's like a cave or something? I don't think it's the one we're looking for. In Furnace, it sounds like there's a boss down there. What's that? In Furious? Those look like zombies. Let's not do that right now. Let's deal with that situation later. Yeah, let's uh, go this way and investigate the quest that we're on. <laughs> okay. We're on a mission, guys. We're on a mission. Because seriously, uh-oh. Okay, I don't see anything here. It's going to take us right past those zombies, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't think there's fall damage. Oh, yeah, it's literally the cave we need to go to. That's fine. Okay, oh. we're at the cave. This must be the place Anne told me about. Yep, it sure no, is. No one's been here for ages. Okay. Wonder if we get talent points soon, guys. <laughs> because, like, all this stuff, right? And we don't have talent points. Because we have... It goes from gear to inventory straight to collections. And we have, like, everything else... But we don't have talent points yet. We've got all these outpost things. I guess we just keep going with the main story and eventually we get talent points. I suppose we should open these things. That'll do. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? No, that's not it. Is there a pattern? Oh, it's no wonder I never found that clue. Door. Interesting. I wonder if there's a specific pattern. Let's go in here. Incendium. I kind of swore I burnt this. Okay. Oh, hello. Luma. Luma. Well, there's some money in there. So one, two, it liked that one. Maybe it has to be balanced or something? No, that's not it. No? 
Okay. I feel like I'm guessing. Oh, you're at level 13. Also, hi, I'm Rob Allen. And yeah, I've been, uh, we've been playing a bit. We've been playing a bit. Okay, so those two and those two. It didn't like that. So those two it did like. You'll not help fox me, Jackdaw. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Let's try over here. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Okay. Now, where's the clue you left Um, me? I have no idea why that worked, but it did. Rebellion. So, we're coming through here. My dearest Anne, well done, you solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one who I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can, I'll show you the map I mentioned. There is no telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peeves ripped from a secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't any I haven't any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad to know um, I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning, Richard. P.S. I'm terribly glad you found this, as it would have gone on alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, You're doing great. I never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? There's something out here. I guess I can walk through those. Oh, it's just money. I'm not a huge fan of walking through spider webs. So we gotta leave the vault now. <clears throat> this looks intriguing. Uh, she said this looks intriguing. Rebellion. No? Okay. I was worried maybe there was a paper that we needed to, to find. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? Oh. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you oh. doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Aww. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Ooh. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. Aww. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind my asking, how did you lose your head? I was hey, welcome look back, about, Yana. Welcome back, and thank you for the hearts. Breeze. After which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself Yeah, he's yourself very much a ghost. Cave, he's a ghost. Be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Beware a light breeze. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. Aww. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? 
a poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Oh. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where thank he discarded you, Kiana, them. Thank you, Kiana, thank you. Not my luckiest find, all things we considered. We transmogged our stuff. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Okay, yeah, we transmogged off of our pre-order gear. So, um, yeah. Exciting progress on the quest. Castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, find this on the map. Tell Professor Fig about the map chamber. Okay. And the other ones are side quests. So let's uh, go to Professor Figs. And we have a lot of side quests over here, but I think we come back and do those um, because I really want to... Where on earth is Professor Figs? <laughs> I'm always so bad at finding his place. Grand Staircase, Ravenclaw Tower, Trophy Room. Courtyard, Faculty Tower, Hospital Wing. The Great Hall. Astronomy Tower, Charms, Professor Fig. There we go. <laughs> yes, it really is like a whole real world. I, I like it. I could imagine actually being in this universe. Ooh, new quest available. Meet Richard Jackdot at the Forbidden Forest. Aw, come on. Game. I thought we were supposed to go to Professor Fig. Well, I mean, that's good and all. The ghost of Richard Jackdaw is going to meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. He said he'll show me how to get into the cave. So, let's go ahead and do this part. And look at a map, and we'll just teleport to where we should be. I thought we were supposed to go to Professor Fig, but what we'll do is we'll teleport here and we'll run on up. Um, it would have been a long way to get there either way anyways from where we were at, so this will be good. I know, right? We're making so much progress, so much progress. Also, Nightbot said it's been an hour since we drank water, so we should probably drink water. Look at this. This area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. Caution. Centaurs. Forbidden Forest. That's kind of cool. Grab a screenshot real quick. I think I grabbed a screenshot. Between um, my keyboard and the controller. Which ones are making noise here? Can I gather these? No, but I can gather this. It's so neat to see the random stuff we can gather. There's something down here. What is it, though? It won't let me interact with it. It's a coin, but it's stuck on the book. It's all good. We don't need the individual coin. We're fine. I probably should have stopped and sold the stuff in my inventory. Hopefully we don't have a full... Oh, these are what were making noise. Let's gather, because gathering is fun. Some more. Wow. This is a nice little spot for mushrooms. Nice. We got some leaping toadstool caps. Oh, great spined Doug boy. Ooh, he came right for me. This guy may actually. Oops, I lumost. <laughs> Nice, 
Nice. We unlocked a challenge of defeating these guys. And we got some materials. Woo. There we go. I gotta stop accidentally Lumosing in battle. Oh, cute. Here we go, guys. Dangerous, dangerous. Sign the Mingi Ministry of Magic. Look, there's a deer. This game is gorgeous. I, I think they did a fantastic job. The bucks, a couple bags of loot in here. Go we'll grab some money. Not gonna say no to free money. We got really close to that one. <clears throat> okay, we need to wait here. So let's see what happens, guys. Here I am, as good as my word. Here I am, as good as my word. There you are. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Aww. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Oh, he didn't pay attention in school. Okay, follow him through the Forbidden Forest. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. Okay. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is... Spiders. ...rather unfortunately coming back to me. Rebellion. Okay, we're gonna get a fast travel point. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply oh. stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Okay. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. The big spider. loud all of a sudden. Sorry if it's loud for you guys. Okay. Let's try that one again. Uh, cause ouch. <laughs> that last spider is a doozy. So let's do this. Release cell one to equip. Release cell one to equip. Now, how do we actually use that? We drink it. Okay. Now let's uh, throw a cabbage at this guy. And uh, let's see if we can uh, we can live this time. Cause that was rough. That was definitely rough. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Matriarch's coming for us. Incendio. Nope. Triangle. Dodge. Triangle. Pull. Okay. Shame you're so foul. Okay. Those are gone now. We gathered some pork clumps. Nothing to do now but keep going. Okay, guess we're gonna keep going. Incendio. Definitely not a fan of spiders, guys. Definitely not a fan of spiders. I imagine there's gonna be more. Rebellion. A waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Let's gather these while we're here. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Interesting stack of stones. Okay, we're gonna hope for less spiders. This is quite interesting. Solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Imagine we're going over here. Look at a teleport spot. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Let's loot these real quick. Oops, let's go over the thorns and loot these. And let's solve this puzzle. I'm imagining fire, right? Incendio. No. Okay. Rebellion. I wonder what it wants. Whisper the password. Oh. Intramuros. Intramuros. Simply wants a password. Well, that's not creepy at all. Okay, guys. Oh. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Arrogant child! Oh no! <laughs> Okay. The well, we took care of them. Will report back to Ranrock now. On the bright side, we didn't get hit this time, so that's nice. <laughs> Let's make sure we looted all their stuff. We did. Okay. Time to investigate the cave. <clears throat> Entering the cave, guys. Okay. Let's double check our gear and make sure we have the best gear equipped possible. The game does have a good point. Let's just make sure. Nope, we've not gotten new stuff recently, so I think we should be on wearing our best. Yep, all of our other stuff is red arrow down for the most part, so. Okay. Rebellion. I wonder how big this place is. Oh, whore clump juice. Okay, for a second I thought that was spiders, guys. I thought that was spiders. 
Ravenia. Okay. Those want flames. I could elude that from afar. My bad. They don't want flames, do they? They want Levioso. Okay. Look at this. That must be where this one leads. Okay. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. No, they did not. They did not want casual visitors at all. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Gosh, darn it. Oops, I most. One of those spiders who died. That's terrifying. Okay, is there still one that's living? Nope, they're dead. Okay, we're good. Let's grab their stuff real quick. We got reward challenges that we need to collect. That's nice. Oh, mushrooms. Four clumps. So let's check out our reward challenge that we just got, guys. So let's check collections first here for enemies. Okay. Apparently there's one I didn't highlight over. Oh, there we go. And challenges for combat. And let's go on down here. Spiders. Nice, so you get rewards just for killing stuff. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I can hardly wait till we get the room of requirement. Apparently, like, I don't know <laughs> what I've done that we've not got the room of requirement, but I think we're a bit behind on getting that. Oh, ho. Spiders everywhere. There's a chest in there, though, so I think we should check this out. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Okay. Magic. Ancient magic. Is there another spider alive? Because I still hear the creepy music. Whew. Rebellion. And guys, do let me know if we have uh, disconnect problems again. Okay. I think we're not doing too bad for day two, guys. Let's see what we got in this chest. Let's hope it was worth killing all those spiders. Black rivet gloves. Let's check out those bad boys. A very nice upgrade. Legendary 42 offense trait three. 
We're gonna equip those, but we're gonna make them look like something else. I mean, if we're doing a different look, those could definitely work. They're very nice looking gloves. Let's go with these ones for now, maybe. They're a bit dark with the outfit, actually. Let's go with these ones, the ones we were wearing as the cosmetic. That's a nice upgrade. That takes up to 650 health, 105 defense, and 104 offense. <clears throat> not bad. I do say not bad. So let's get that out of this section of the cave and proceed on our way. Oh, hello. Find the missing page. Is it acting like they're that way? But I'm curious, what is this way? That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Yeah, but why? Oh. Okay. Okay. Lots of spiders everywhere. Not a fan of this cave. I do keep hearing spiders. one. Okay. I wonder what's over here. Stuff! There's stuff over here. I'm definitely a fan of stuff. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but... Diamond casual school uniform. The butterflies. Um... Do you mean the ones for, like, the mirrors, or, like, for the quest butterflies, like, doing this action? Sorry if I'm misunderstanding which butterflies. Oh, you mean because we're following spiders. I get it. I'm being dense. <laughs> I would much rather follow butterflies. That would be much better. <laughs> yes, butterflies would be better than spiders. Spider cave, I'm not a fan of. Something's attacking me still. It's behind me. Okay. There we go. None of them actually hit me. I would by far and away prefer if this quest was not involving spiders. So I agree. Next time, the quest should be butterflies. Oops, I threw a cabbage on the ground. I did not mean to. Angry cabbage does bite. I wasted a cabbage, guys. I see two. Is there a third? Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Where would the next symbol be hidden? Well, that's lame. Is that it? I don't think that's it. But it does light up, right? No, it doesn't. Where would it be hidden? There, found it. That should 
to get us. Yeah, so many spiders. Definitely so many spiders. Look at this view as we go. It's so beautiful. Minus the spiders. Spiders are not beautiful. Rebellion. Okay. There's spiders up there, and they're so gonna jump us. So heads up, we're about to get mobbed by spiders. Maybe we can just sneak through and they won't care. Let's see what's up in here. That's bright. I almost feel like we're gonna run out of inventory space. There's no sign of him. Okay, that's the way we just came from. I'll definitely take the free ore. I feel like there's a uh, treasure in there that I don't know how to get to. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Yeah. True. Okay. Wonder if we need to be going left, right, or straight. We can go over this way for sure a little bit. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, hey, Patrick. Thank you so much for the super chat. Leaving work and commuting probably won't be home before I'm done. Have a great night. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for being here for the stream, and thank you for the super chat. That's absolutely the sweetest of you. Thank you, Patrick. I hope you have a wonderful, safe drive. There's definitely a chest I'm over here. Chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can reach over there from here. Oh, the super sticker! It's so cute. Thank you, thank you. You're the best. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, definitely, I appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, safe drive. And it's been a blast having you in the stream. What are these? They look like spider eggs. They best not be. Oh no, guys, there's spiders. More spiders in the cave. Uh oh. Okay, let's let Incendio um, restock itself for a second here. Cause I feel like we need to Incendio these immediately. Incendio. Like just literally a situation for fire. Incendio. Okay, definitely a situation for fire, but I think there's a chest coming up here. Big spider. Okay, we took care of those. Let's open this chest real quick. Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Incendio. I don't think we can get through there, but I do think we can peek through there. 
I think we're just meant to come up here and get this chest. <laughs> so let's head back that other way we were. And let's hop back down here. And let's pull ourselves across with Accio. About halfway or so. A little bit further. And let's Accio our way over here. Um, friends with spiders aren't words that go together. <laughs> That's not a thing. We don't want to be friends with them. Not when we have fire spells for them. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. No one hit me. Oh, he's on fire and mad. Whoa. -ho. Okay, I think we took care it of them. Too many. That's a lot of spiders. Let's uh, grab our loot real quick. A lot of spiders. More spiders than I like existing. Let's grab our chest here. There we go. Trajector left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? We'll grab this chest. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dor would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Definitely odd. Rebellion. Looks like we're getting closer and closer. Lots of spiders. Lots of spiders. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. Okay, guys. Um, there's a lot of spiders. These can't be what the head is Okay, guys. Take care of this spider. Okay. More spiders. Come on. This is Spider Cave. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Don't you dare, Mr. Spider. No? Big Spider! Big Spider, no! Spider still. Two more spiders still. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came as well. Okay. A lot of spiders. Definitely a lot of spiders. <clears throat> Not a fan. It's okay. Hopefully this quest will be worth it. Let's gather all the stuff we can. We got some Mallow Sweet down here. I'll definitely take these. Now I mentioned the bridge, but we also have this down here. We're probably
knowing I need to hit that. Skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Now let's run and see if we can find the other two. I'll need to look around for the symbol. There's another one. And the final one. Got it. <laughs> we got it. There's a bridge, guys. Hooey. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. Okay, before and we run too quickly, pages. let's breathe for a second. Because I have a feeling we're about to go into a battle based on that glowing room with figures in it and this bridge of flames that we are currently standing on. So, about to head into a battle, guys. About to head into a battle. Okay. Okay. Hey, Troy. Thank you for being here for the stream. I'm hope you I hope you're having a good night. Let's look at our situation. This definitely looks like a situation. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. We found the pages. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Okay. Well, we're about to be in combat, so. are great. What kind of 3D models do you do? I like to paint more hammer miniatures. Incendio, Accio, Dodge, Dodge, Accio, Leviosa, Incendio, Dodge, Accio, Leviosa, Incendio, Dodge. Okay, he's dead. Okay, here we go. Revelio. Okay. Where am I? Oh, the room is starting to flood. Okay. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? We're in a bubble, guys. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What 
is this place? We're below Hogwarts. This is Hogwarts architecture. It looks like below Hogwarts to me. Rebellion. Okay. We got this, guys. Let's see what's in here. That was a lot of combat. Watch us not even get the broom tonight. I just want the broom, guys. I just want the broom. <laughs> we'll make it. Can it be? Percival. Hello, Percival. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Very, we're making can. it. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. Sorry if that oh, was loud. Professor, thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is oh, no. unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Okay. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Okay, I'll bring the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic and locked talents. Score. You receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You now have new talent points to spend in the menu in your field guide. Score. I've been needing talent points so bad. You've earned talent points starting at level five. So I got 12 talent points to spend, guys. <laughs> you may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells and increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. They may only spend once, so the number of talent points you acquire will be limited. Retain her often to see new and powerful talents that await you. Okay. Can we get all of these things eventually? Okay. Cashin and Cindy unleashes a ring of flame around you. Accio mastery. Enemies near a target summoned by Accio are pulled um, to you. I don't know if I like that. Um, enemies near target levitated by Le Leviosa are levitated as well. So these are all going to be um, affecting our active spells. Let's check the dark arts. Um... Dealing damage to a cursed uh, target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Stupefies the same effect on a cursed enemy. Expeller almost has the same effect as on cursed enemies. Nice. Core. Wing and Will heals you for a greater effect. A new spell set is added. We need that desperately, so we should probably grab that. Hold R2 and tap plus in a direction to swap to unlock spell set. We'll get that. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Oh. Okay. Successful Protego block will contribute to the ancient magic meter. Nice. Perfect Protego blocks contribute even more. I like that. Ancient magic throw catches and throw disarms, um, disarmed enemy weapons. Basic cast reduce spell cooldowns. Ho ho, that's nice. Very nice. <clears throat> 
Basic cast impacts and airborne enemies contribute more to ancient magic meter. These core spells are good. So I know for sure we're going to... A new spell set's added there. We're going to add the spell sets because we are having to swap our spells already. So we'll take that. That took one talent point. We'll take this one. That took two. And we're going to look through these other ones because I know for sure we want those. Stealth. Enemies ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Enemies ability to detect you is reduced more. Okay. Now, it's, there's a max of 40 levels, supposedly, right? We have 10 talent points left. If there's a max of 40 levels, there should be 35 of these that we get. So 10, 20, 36. That leaves 12 that we wouldn't be able to get if we only get one per level. So let's be careful with what we choose, because I don't know if that's true, but that's based off of I heard max level's 40, but I could be wrong. So remember requirement. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost. Oh, cute. Okay. Eldritch potions makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks back to enemies. Um, invisibility potions undetected effect lasts for a longer period. Maximum potion causes attacks to have additional increased damage. Damage duration of um, incapacitated, effect incapacitated effects on mandrakes are increased. Okay. So it sounds like what we should do first is take stuff in the spells and the core. So let's uh, increase our spells here. So we're going to do improved Accio. Improved Levioso. And improved Insidio. Because we do use those currently. And let's go more into the core. Ooh, Dark Arts is what you're going... On my other build, I might do Dark Arts. I kind of wanted to do not Dark Arts on this one, you know? I wanted to do a good Hufflepuff. And next time, I'll do a Dark Hufflepuff. That Dodge one seems effective. I like Protego adding to the meter for Ancient Magic. Ancient Magic th uh, throw catches and throws disarm enemy weapons. Interesting. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. We'll take that. Increase the range of Revelio. We'll take that. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to ancient magic meter. Okay. Blocking spell with Protego will send two projectiles back at the enemy? Yes, please. Basic impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter. We'll take that. Let's check and make sure there's some, not something else in one of these others that we really need right now. <clears throat> There's 48 levels. Interesting. So if there's 48 levels, we start getting these at level 5, there should be 43. So there's 10, 20, 36, 48. Oh, we should be able to get all of them eventually because there's 40... Wait, no, we don't get the first 5. So we should be able to get all but 5 then, right? I heard someone on a stream earlier say there's 40 levels. I guess they were wrong. I don't care about the stealth so much. Those seems like things I those seem like things I can work around for now. If we're not taking dark arts, I can take everything else though. Yeah, because if I'm not gonna be using the dark arts, I can just take everything else, literally, and not have to worry about it. So let's uh, do the dodge vanish thing. And um I know potions are expensive, so maybe we should grab that. Let's grab the spell set. Well, I mean, we don't have that many spells yet. Let's grab um, the better stupefy. Okay, we got a lot of talent points all of a sudden, so we finally got talent points. 
let's um, go ahead and assign some stuff to our other set. How do we get to our other set, though? Okay. No. That's another set. Awesome. I found one. So in this one... What do we have in the other one? Oh, goodness. In the other one... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to move between these because I didn't read... Okay, so we use these arrows while holding R2. So we have um, Lumos, Accio, Levitate, and Fire. So on this one, let's assign other things, right? So Disillusionment, we'll assign to Square. Mend, we'll assign here. Okay, that seems good for now. And then as we unlock spells, we'll get more of those. So that's good. Now we have access to everything. Expelliarmus. We should equip that. I think that's actually more of a triangle one for me. Okay. Well, I have it assigned to two. That's a thing. So now we've got everything equipped. And I need to get better at moving between these. So R2 to move between them. That works. I think I like these like this. Actually, I want to move something. I have an idea. So let's move. Lumos off my main bar because I keep accidentally using it, right? Now, let's uh, go up here and we're going to make that one. Now we have Expelliarmus, Levioso, Insidio, and Accio on the main one. So we have all combat attacks on there. And on our second one, we have um, Disillusionment, um, Lumos, Mending, and we also have um, Ex Expelliarmus on this one, but that's because I accidentally assigned it twice. So that sounds good. Now, it says to exit the chamber. I assume we exit this way. It says up. I wonder what's down. So that's exciting. We got skill points, guys. Nice. That'll be good. So I can get everything. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would okay. I need book? Okay. I've always said We got a new flu flames location. Nice. Okay. Then... Chest. Oh. Sorry, chest. Oops. I didn't mean to scare you, bud. There we go. Thank you for the free money. Oops. Okay. I'm getting more and more used to the controls. Now that we can put more spells on here, I'm feeling better about it, too. Okay. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. 
Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Okay. Revenge. Jack Dawes rest. Okay. Lots of locked rooms down here. I still wish we could do these. I don't know how we get them though. You need to learn to pulso. The banishing charm. Ooh. Useful for pushing objects Depulso. or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. I want the broom so bad. <laughs> I'm hoping that we get it soon. Um, let me double check on Google because I don't remember what the quest was that we have to do to have the broom. Let's see. <clears throat> Oh, yep, we're getting closer on the rumor requirement, at least, because it mentions Jack Daw for the rumor requirement. I'm checking for the broom. Hogwarts, and we just did the Jack Daw thing. Legacy, how to unlock <laughs> broom. Jackdaw's Rest, okay. Flying class, okay. <clears throat> We're gonna get prompted to attend a flying class. So we are getting closer to both the broom and the um, rumor requirements, both. I'm a level behind you. Oh, you got me beat. You got me beat. Let's see. Sleeping Dragon Statue. The Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormiens Nunquam uh, Tillandus, means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Um, fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. He may be tickled to absolutely no effect. That's cute. <laughs> Who's up here hollering? If I could undo all that happened. Oh, there's not a paper in front of this one. There is in front of that one, though. Urn of Ashes is rumored to have once borne the inscription Pioneer and Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horntail. That's hilarious. To do those yet. I see people have a key with wings and they slap it into place and I've never seen the key yet. Oh, thank you Doge. Thanks for hanging out. Also, Nightbot says it's been a whole hour. We should probably drink water. There's a treasure chest over there. Okay. Okay, let's um, check our quest section real quick. Flying class. And professor's assignment. So, Professor Sharp wants me to um, test myself while under the influence of the Maxima and Endurus potions. He wants me to test a feel, a focus potion. Um, I know to find potions and recipes at J. Pippin's potions. My field guide will not get me through this assignment, but the map could still prove useful. So we need to get potions, um, but I think we should go to flying class first, because that's going to get us a broom, and then we can go get the stuff and the broom and our little trip down to the city. So we get to go to flying class, guys. We're going to get our broom. <laughs> Freaking finally. Lordy Lou. Lordy Lou. Um, we haven't hot any of these fast travel points. So let's just walk up there. Let's maybe grab the bell tower courtyard along the way. And that other, these other ones as well. And then let's go to flying class. Yes, we are gonna get our gosh darn broom. 
I'm super excited, guys. You don't even know. We got this fast travel point. How inconvenient travel was before. Now, let's grab a couple other while we're out here. Because it's just going to make our life so much easier just to have them. So, let's grab this uh, fast travel point and then we will be on our way over. Look at how beautiful it is out here. There's our quest. And there's a the fast travel point. So we won't be long till our quest, but I am grabbing these fast travel points first. Yeah, I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked, guys. It's in, it's in our reach. Um, this looks like it's the opposite way. Oh, no. It, it doesn't want to lead us to that when we're tracking the, the class. Let's untrack the class, class for just a moment, because I want to get these fast travel points. Because otherwise we'll wander and need them later and not have them. So let's get that super quick. I'm excited. I hope flying is intuitive and fun. And not scary. To give you guys an idea, I'm good at flying for like things like World of Warcraft. But um, if you put me in actual like flight games or anything like that, not so much. Or if you have me play Mario Kart, I'm really bad at it. Rebellion. Very, very bad at Mario Kart. Here's a fast travel point. Oh, they're, they're chasing each other. They're definitely chasing each other. So let's find that last fast travel point that was over here. Shouldn't be far. There we go. Yeah, we're not far at all to that. And then we're going to flying class, guys. How exciting is that? And quickly after that, I think we will get our room of requirement so we can check that out. So we started at 4 p.m. today and we played six hours the other day. So it took us 12 hours to get to the room. I think a lot of that is because we did side quests, but let's go do our flying class now. Hope you all are as excited as I am. <clears throat> and real quick, we are going to save. Uh, just to have a good old manual save in. There we go. Always better safe than not. Flight time, guys. Flight time. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Okay. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver okay. on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. I know, we'll right, Billy? I'm excited, players, too. Like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty schoolroom! <laughs> Here we go, guys. Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay, here we go. Guys, we're about to fly. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, here we go. Good. Now. 
for your Bryce first takes lesson, turn left fly move. through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This okay. Take some getting used to. This is brilliant. Good grip. Okay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Check it out, we're flying, Hello. guys. Nice day for a flight. It is interesting trying to navigate. <laughs> Good, I've got this. Okay. We're flying, guys. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Hey. Okay, we can speed up. Nice. So, just like regular old sprint, you press down the stick. Okay, good, because that was going to be a slow fly. <laughs> Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. So, okay, I definitely like this. This is rather fun. Okay. It. We made it and we got the broom. We can fly, guys. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But mm -hmm. I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't <clears throat> probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Hello, Everett Am Clopton. I'm right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high flying fun. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about <clears throat> to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster Whoa. isn't having tea by the window today. I'm so gonna wreck. <laughs> Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yes. It's good to know that I can, like, literally ride into the building and I don't wreck. <laughs> Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is that right flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay, L2. His speed now burst. That's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? What were the other ones, though? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's okay, so it's that yellow bar for speed boost. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Very nice. This is exciting. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. That was exciting, guys. That was exciting. Yes, absolutely. It'd be a very nice breath of fresh air. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Okay, so L2 is speed burst. R2 is hold your flight speed. L3 is toggle flight speed. R is descend and circle is hold to dismount. Good to know.
And where have you two been? It was exciting. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Boo. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. You're in this <clears throat> class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Dude got us in trouble. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yeah. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Oh, thank you. That was really exciting. We got a broom. Now, we learned how to fly. We don't get to keep one of these. We have to go buy a broom in the city. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay. How exciting. We completed flying class and we completed challenge of some of the main quest. I have to say we're looking quite dapper. <clears throat> so let's hop in here and see what reward we get for that <clears throat> in the challenges. Or quests. Okay. An appearance. Armored. We don't have that one yet. Field guide pages. I don't think we're... G we're getting closer on some of these. Okay. In combat. We're making more progress, but I don't think we've completed more of these yet. Either that or we have. Completed, actually. We got some looks that we can use. Certainly some looks. And we got officer's uniform. Very nice. Let's double check our gear real quick to make sure we don't have any upgrades to apply because we're going to go sell stuff, right? So we want to make sure we've applied any upgrades. Ooh, this has to be identified. This is down. And this is what we're wearing, I believe. Yeah, that's what we're wearing. Let's check here. That's locked by level. That is down. That is down. So we can sell basically anything we're not currently wearing. So that's exciting. Now, we do have Professor Shop's assignment, but we need to get a Focus Potion and Maximum Endurance Potion. Um, let's see. Wants me to find potions and recipes at J. Pippin's. So we need to go to J. Pippin's, and we need to go buy our broom. So, let's do those things. Let's go ahead and hop out of here for one second, just to make sure nothing's going to pop up. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay, mail. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, we need to go there anyways, so that's convenient. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies <gasps> away from prying eyes She's going to give us the room of requirement. Okay, let's go meet her first for the room of requirement real quick. And then let's get her broom. Room of requirement. We get the quest. Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the astronomy tower. An odd location for meeting. I wonder what she wants. Yes. Seventh floor astronomy tower. Let's go there and get the room of requirement. And let's go get our broom. How exciting is that? Um, let's... Yeah, go in here. Uh, 
That's the charms classroom. Uh, we're gonna travel to the astronomy tower. We're gonna get the room requirement, guys. Two things that we really wanted to do today, we're gonna get done. <clears throat> and all that we had to do was play for like six or seven hours and have the stream crash on us. Great success. <laughs> okay, on our way. On our way. Woohoo. Pavilion. No, nothing there. Interesting. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be behind the dancing ogres? Really? That's too cute. Professor Weasley? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. I love this music. It's gonna be across from the Dancing Ogres. Okay. Seven floor astronomy tower across from the Dancing Ogres. I like her outfit right now. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted <laughs> no time. Nice. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Okay, okay, okay. Exciting. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely Rebellion. by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Okay. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Nice. Nice, we've learned Evanesco, guys. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. Okay. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Okay, okay, on. nice, nice. Where in Merlin's name is Rebellion. that elf? still here hey I'll just take a quick look at this i waited you, you waited for you here for ages we locate Deke. perhaps you yes, were assigned Professor. a few more inches of parchment than you expected let me know if you want to meet again sincerely signed t wonder who a is in t Rebellion. so she says we can explore on our own now for a bit how but, exciting dear me can't you keep it down some of us are trying to rest. Look at that. <clears throat> this is so cool. You did a good job. Rebellion. 
sit down there but I can jump back up there oh I can bring the whole bag to me <laughs> I can fall in the bag my gear slots are full Aw, oh, shoot. That's a problem. Let's see if there's something we can trash. Maybe some gloves. Something that sells for cheap. Something that sells for 60 would be a good idea to trash. Let's see what's in this bag now. Okay. Revelio. Okay. Uh, how impressive. Let's go through there. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder. Stop them. An intruder. <laughs> no, not. Uh that's not helpful, you worthless Aww. pirate skin. Little buddy. Repair. Well, I guess I can't repair him. Trimmed up the tree. Okay. Revenia. There's definitely stuff over there. Bit offended the room, thought I need a bath. Cheeky thing. Oh, Cute. Oh. Well, hello. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Well, there's a floating Rebellion. harp. But why? Okay. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Shoot, gear slots are still full. Perhaps let's um you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> let's figure out something else to abandon from our inventory that sells for cheap. One of these greens, perhaps. Yeah, we'll destroy that green. We're gonna be opening a few chests in here, I think, so let's find another green to destroy. Let's see if this is higher than ours. That's 36. No trait slot, but we can't apply traits yet. And it's a decent boost. This sells as well, so let's equip this one for now. Let's destroy this one. And let's change our scarf look to look like the one we had on earlier. There we go. <clears throat> now we have two slots, so we can at least pick up some stuff. Astral mosaic robe. Okay. That's cute, it plays music. Accio. Oh, wait, that's uh, not Accio. I'm on the wrong bar. Okay, let's get our Accio back. There we go. Okay, let's see if there's anything we need to get up to. We don't need to levitate anything. Oh. Let's see what's in here real quick, and let's check out that robe we just got.
30. So we should equip that for now. Ooh, that's actually quite pretty. I like the blue and the green. I don't know how I feel about it compared to what we were wearing, but let's wear that for now. Let's destroy this because we'll keep the looks of it. That's fine. We can definitely do that. I know we could sell for money, but we may open something that has like a legendary piece of equipment and we want to be able to pick it up. Yeah. Rebellion. So, to get over that way, we need to maybe move this. <laughs> no, can't get over that way. Maybe I need to pull it through here. Maybe I messed up. Rebellion. I think maybe I need to go through and push it through there somehow. Yeah, because I don't think I can get over there. Interesting. I feel like I'm supposed to do something to get over there and I've failed it. <laughs> I hope that house elf can find us in here. Okay, ooh hoo. We're coming up to some light. Okay. Found him. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Oh. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Uh, 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 hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Oh. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second Aww. year. We discovered this room together. I like Deke. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. Aww. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. Okay, okay, okay now. You've given yourself quite a count. How to work exciting. With. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. 
It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Yes. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Let's identify that piece of gear. A tan cloak. And it says it's not good. <laughs> of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Let's glance around for a second. Pavelia. We have a fast travel point in here. That's going to be activated, I assume, after we talk to her. Lumos. Uh oh. I took away our chair. I hope we didn't need that. <laughs> I imagine the desk of description Oops. will come in handy. It will. Oops. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. We have learned the conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. So let's conjure those real quick. Hmm. Thinking. We're gonna sign this one here instead. And we're gonna sign the conjuring spell. Here. Okay. Items used to be potions, herbology, utility, wall hangings, artwork, decorations, furniture, rugs, seating, tables, statues, and seasonal decorations. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I need to conjure a potting table and a potion station. Here's a scientific potion station. Botanical potion station. Uh, eclectic potion station. Do these all do the same thing? Are these cosmetic? A small gothic potion station. I guess these are all the same thing, right? They just look different? How can we preview? We can preview, okay. That's a botanical one, that's pretty cute. That's a scientific one. That's a gothic one. We could go for a whole look in here. 
I have a feeling botanical is meant to be kind of Hufflepuffy, but, um... Let's see, we can L1 and R1 to rotate. That's kind of like, uh-oh. Maybe tuck it in here for now? Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Change color. Oh, this is the paint color. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> oh. Wow. Okay, okay, game. I see you. I know, right? Yeah, we just disappeared the chair out of the middle of nowhere. Yeah, the colors are fun. And the little candlestick changes to match it as you go. I think red is a bit much Christmas. Um, let's go back one. And, um, look at the other ones real quick. Since there's all these colors. Okay. So change color. The scientific one's kind of neat. And we can always change these later. A pink sign, a perfect scientific. Oh. Look at that yellow one. Let's have fun with it and let's make um a purple one for now. So we've conjured that. That's exciting. So now we don't want to conjure another one. Let's make a potting table of some sort for herbology. And um, let's see what our different options look like. That one looks really like a true potting table. Ooh, that one looks nice. Huh. Gothic. Interesting. Uh, I didn't like that I rotated it. Let's go with this one, but let's just play with the colors for now. Okay, and let's play with colors. It's a little bit hard to get exactly center. It's gonna be one of those things where you just can't center stuff, but that's okay. Oh yeah, the game is great. Okay. We can go matchy-matchy for now, or we can go green for a little bit of contrast. I know the black one's kind of boring, but let's go with that one for now. Well done. We conjured a potting table. You need to brew potions, um, we can conjure potions. other things while we're in here. Presumably, Utility. Enchant items to be used in the room of requirement. In a desk of description. Access Identify access. unknown pieces of gear. Oh, we have one of those already. It's already conjured. Wall hangings. A Quidditch board. And that's like the only thing we've discovered, apparently. Let's summon one. Okay, we'll just kind of place this over here for now. Nice. We can summon things. Rugs, furniture, decorations. I think we found a decoration earlier. No, we didn't. That must be something else that we found. Artwork. 
We have a blank one, but that's it. An empty square frame. I wonder if we can customize it. Nope. <laughs> Can't put anything in that yet. Seating. We don't have any. Tables. We don't have any. Statues. Oh, we got a statue. How fancy. Look at us. We're all dapper. Let's stick him back here in the corner. Trying to get his base lined up. We can change size a little. Oh, we can make him itty bitty. We can make him massive. Whoa. <laughs> I think that's a bit big. Okay, that's a big boy. That's definitely a big boy. Let's make him smaller. Let's make him medium for now. Look at that chonky boy. <laughs> This is fantastic. And seasonal decorations. Super cute. I wonder if there'll be more seasonal decorations. What's of this thing? Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate <laughs> his insults. Yes, he's massive. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at home. We got the room requirement, guys. Have, and seems to know it's every nook cranny and secret we discovered this room together when i was a student deke has had a good deal of experience both here at hogwarts and at a previous post i shall let deke tell you more when he's ready but again you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have can i use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room conjuring and vanishing are strictly Forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Good to know. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of It does. It makes me think of Nooks too. Rules. That's true, Paige. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. We have a potion table. We got another talent point. We leveled up. We have learned a rug and a chair and a table. Let's speak to her. And a mirror. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. Good. First, you'll need <clears throat> to gather some moons. I think I've got some. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather I know, it right? carefully this is exciting. outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I hope we have enough. Yep, we have enough. I have the moonstone <laughs> you requested, Professor. There we go. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Nice. Okay, okay. Walls and floor. Furniture decorations. I want legit the walls and floor, but... Conjure wall decorations, conjure floor decorations. Okay. And we can change the colors. Interesting. Ooh, this one seems pretty nice when you change the colors on it. This one brings out the teal in it very nicely. That red is nice and bold. I don't like the purple. 
Pink's a bit much. I think I like this. So... We can rotate it. And stick it under a little table here. Itty bitty rug! Not placeable inside space. Massive rug. Okay. That's huge. <laughs> we'll place one there. It wants a lot of floor decorations, so let's make these itty bitty and just conjure a few of them real quick. And then we'll unconjure them. <laughs> Because I don't want to spend forever doing that. I wonder if we undo if it still counts for the quest. It does. We cheated. Oh, we took away the big rug. Okay, let's put this one back. <laughs> we cheaty faced that quest. Okay. Now let's go into wall decorations. Wall hangings. Mirrors. Let's grab us one of these. Oh, there's only one right there. A much bigger one of that, in, in fact. It needs a big spot, though. Okay, we conjured one of those. And let's see what we have in art. We have more art! We can place art all around! Oh, so cool! I love the wall art in this game. And they have different things in them! Oh. There's our, our house elf! There's one. Let's make them... Ooh, tiny art. We'll make a tiny wall art section here. Good work. Shall we move on? Not yet. No. <laughs> She's like, shall we move on? I'm like, nope. How about a lot of no? That's so cool. Okay. Very neat. Very neat. I know, right? We need to give Dobby a sock. Also, hi, Rachel. How are you doing? Good to see you. And thank you for making it. Um, yeah, owls are... I, I trust owls. So I don't know. The colors uh, definitely do help with the rug. Let's talk to her. and It's so cool. We have all this art everywhere. I've conjured everything I can. What's next I could have conjured this? more. I, I just lied. You're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize mm. any color. Are any of you guys item. playing you can Hogwarts change the right colors, now? Patterns and styles of your furniture to suit oh, your taste. goodness. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. The altering spell. Okay, we're going to learn the altering spell. Okay, we're learning a new spell. Thank goodness we unlocked those spell bars. <laughs> Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to custom. Okay. Let's uh, start customizing. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Let's play more with the colors. Ooh, that gold is bright. I think... 
I kind of like the whitewash right now. We'll change it later, I'm sure. We're going to hold to apply to all. We're going to change the whole gosh darn room real quick. Okay. Alter the style of an item. Okay. How fancy. Alter the style of an item and adjust the size of an item. But how? <laughs> Okay, let's try this rug. Okay, we can change the size this way. Itty bitty rug. And let's alter the style of said rug. Okay. We have now made a kitchen spots. mat. <laughs> you can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Okay. The floor or the balcony. Let's aim at the balcony. Oh. Whoa. Look how nice that looks. So cute. Let's apply to all. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Wow. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Look at this. Look at what we just uh, did. Talk to Deke when you're ready. Go us. Hey, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room. Thank you for hanging out, Rachel. I'm of glad course. to have you here. Are huh? you getting ready for the update in Disney Junior Valley page? To you. A cool moonlit ambience, something natural and earthy, a room that's dark and mysterious. Let's try moonlit. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, but it's a thing we did. Mm. You're waiting for the PS4 Quite release, I understand. Difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. This is Indeed. exciting, guys. This is exciting. No how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. This is so magical. I absolutely love this. They did a wonderful job. Okay. We've got like a whole loft of requirement, guys. It's not even just a room. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. How exciting. Okay, let's speak with Deke and change the lighting, though. Oh, Deke, where are you? There he is. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Huh? What mm -hmm. sort of overall look most appeals to you? Room requirement is so much fun already, Rachel. So much fun. 
Let's go with natural and earthy. I like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Feels very Hufflepuff right now. Might be a bit bright. Let's try the... Maybe that's the default one we came in here with. Let's try the dark one, just so we saw all three. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I do like dark rooms. We'll see. I feel like we turned all the lights off, but they're on. <laughs> okay, I think it's maybe a bit dark now, but let's try targeting the balcony. I want to see these other overall looks. Let's see what that is. And let's change the light so we can actually see it, because it's a little bit hard to see. I'd like to it is dark, about dark. Changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I think I like either the moonlit or the natural and earthy. Ooh, warm and cozy. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable. Let's see what that one's As like. If I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Maybe. <laughs> He's gonna say everything's perfect. He's people pleaser. Okay, I think I might like this one. Um, the ambiance, not necessarily the decorations. Okay, that's way more balanced on the eyes. Now, this is what these decorations and things look like. Let's try looking at another set. Gothic. Let's apply Gothic. Huh. Okay, let's run around for a second. So that's the look, but I kind of think I like the... Because that's a lot of books everywhere. It feels like Belle's Library. Let's try applying the plant looking one again. So that's eclectic. That's botanical. And that's scientific. Let's look at scientific for everything. Also, Nightbot says it's been a whole hour. We should probably drink some water. Well, that's cute and all, but I think maybe it feels a bit boring. It's definitely a look, and it looks nice. I could go with it, but let's go back with the plant and call that good. I like that you can do them individually, too. So you can make one room one way and another room another way. So if you wanted this room to be botanical and the other one to be scientific, you could totally do that. Okay. Now, we do have a quest um, to go to the potions and get our broom. So let's do that. Let's see if there's anything we can do in here with it, because I know it wants us to do things. Meet Sebastian. Professor Sharp's assignment. Flight test, and we need to go purchase a broom. So let's do the potion shop and purchase our broom. This is exciting. I like this lighting the best too. It feels clear and warm and cozy. And it doesn't feel like it's blinding my eyeballs or making me squint. <laughs> so it's definitely good. And we should be able to just teleport over to Hogsmeade, um, right up to uh, basically the, the shop. We're pretty darn close. So let's teleport here and go get our broom. <laughs> Let's definitely go get our broom. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hopefully he's open this late at night. Let's uh, actually 
target our quest here. Flight test. It's moving on me. How interesting. There we go. Time to grab ourselves a broom. Moving up in the world. We can actually run around and fly and be free and have our room of requirement. Maybe we'll get more cool stuff for it. Go guide page. Spent witches sporting needs. Run by the amiable Alby Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around the town is that Alby himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Nice, nice. Ooh, we gotta sell some stuff to him before we open that chest. I remember my inventory is full, full, full. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. I like his sweater. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And okay, I've only guys. just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. How nice. <clears throat> You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No oh. easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. So let's sell the extra gear that is for today? not an upgrade real quick first. Now, we're going to be able to keep these appearances so we don't have to worry about them going away. Well, it's just going to be extra free you. money. As long as it's got a red arrow down, we're selling. Because transmogrifying is king. Get us some money. All the money. We're going to be able to buy stuff. Oh, no! Undo! I sold something that was an upgrade. <laughs> it's okay. It was a mild upgrade. That one is an upgrade. We need not sell it. I don't think there's a buyback option, so um, definitely be sure before you hold the button. It's okay, though. We'll be fine. We'll get more upgrades. That one's not an upgrade. So now we got a lot of money. Let's um, preview these brooms. That item is of the highest quality. That's the Ember Dash. There's our house broom. This one is called the Moon Trimmer. It's got some saddlebags, which is pretty cool. That item is of the highest quality. The Wind Wisp looks pretty neat. And a U Weaver. I like them all. That item is of the highest quality. Now we can have more than one, but. I think maybe let's look at the Ember Dash a bit closer. That item is of the highest quality. Would you guys go with the house broom or the Ember Dash for now? Because I want to get I want to have all of the brooms because I want to have the options, you know, but we need to save money for upgrading them later, too. Because I imagine upgrading costs quality. a lot. The Moon Trimmer has this little thing hanging on that I can't exactly see. I'm assuming it's like a light box. That one has ropes hanging down from it. That item is of the highest quality. This one has a swirly jig in front. This one has a little lantern hanging off of it as well. I like the wind wisp. That item is of the highest quality. 
This one glows, so that's pretty cool. I like the fluffiness of this one's bristles. <laughs> that item is of the highest quality. Okay, let's go with this one for now. Um, maybe. That item is of the highest quality. With a light touch, quite literally. Exciting, but that indecisive. Item is of the highest quality. I wish I could see what that box looks like on this one. I think I like the fluffier end brooms a little bit better. So, like, this one's purple and cool, but I don't like its scraggly end as much. That item is of the highest quality. And I like this one, but I'm not sure on the metal parts. So that let's just grab the ember broom. Quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Very nice. Thanks for stopping Exciting, by. Exciting, guys, we got Whilst a broom. Really any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy oh, with the Oh, very nice. New light goal. Thank you, Mega Eevee. Thank you. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any okay. broom you fly. <clears throat> what I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is oh, using Imelda. abandoned broom courses for okay. time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is exciting. For the best time and succeed, then yes, I wish we could custom make them two page. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every oh, regard. Oh, that's awesome. And Very I nice, Mega Evie. Price. The time trial should be a bit of fun, too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hang tight for a second. I'm just freeing my mouse. Or trying to free my mouse. There we go. Sorry, guys, it takes a second here. There we go. Mega Eevee has set the next light goal. Our next light goal is 39. It's awesome that you guys got us up to 22 likes, especially since the stream crashed and we lost everything we had going on in the first four hours. So much appreciated. Which means we have now been streaming darn near close to a lot of hours. We started at four. So we've been streaming, what, seven hours? So exciting. Let's talk to him again real quick before we go do this. Okay. So he's not gonna let us go and buy more stuff. Thanks we gotta go do by. this first. Hope to see you again. Um we did sell stuff so we can open this chest now. Without fear of picking up gear we can't pick up. We got a new scarf. And let's go ahead and equip so we don't sell things that are upgrades. Oops, that's not my gear. <laughs> that's my gear. You guys remember that Lonely Island uh, group? Or maybe it's their album. Or like, that's not my cell phone. I threw it on the ground. <laughs> that song's hilarious. Sorry, I'm bad influence, guys. So that's not an upgrade. That's fine. And I believe we had picked up something else. Nope, those are our handles. We're wearing those. We're wearing that. Ah, uh, yes. This is an upgrade. We're going to apply this, and we're going to change the way it looks. So let's change our undergarbs. I had one that I liked going on. Well, that dress is actually kind of cute with this over thing. There was definitely one I liked. I just don't remember which one it was. That, I liked that. 
And let's change our overcoat. Appearance. That's a no-go. That could work. I liked this one. There we go. That'll be a nice change of pace for now. Let's try this with it, though. Oh, I actually quite like that together for a look. We can go with that. Let's go with this one for now. <clears throat> we'll call that good. We are all fancy and dressed up. I think we have a new talent point. So let's go into spells. So I guess we can't upgrade these because we need to learn them first. So let's go into core and let's grab our last set because we're going to start getting more spells soon. I think that'd be good. Or we can learn the better Wigan Wilds. Oh, let's grab that. There we go. Increasing our meter seems good. Oh, absolutely an item hoarder, but I do like to sell the gear in this one because we have limited gear slots and we can transmog everything. But otherwise, I like to hoard items. Absolutely. Okay. So, there's a mirror out back. Okay. Now, um... I don't think we can use our broom just yet. Revelio. But I saw that Talks mirror. Me, here I come. But where? Okay. So let's go do our broom thing. Melda at the Quidditch pitch. Exactly where this is, is apparently far away. Let's world map this. Huh. Can we summon our broom? Outside of town? No. Um, basically, what you're meant to do is use your clothing oh, based off of stats, Jolly? and then you can transmogrify any piece of... Uh, you can transmogrify your gear to look like any piece of gear you've owned. So, like here, right now, I only have this one pair of gloves, but since I've owned lots of pair of gloves, I can make them look like any of the gloves I picked up during the game, right? So I can just choose their appearance. So the way they did this makes it really nice. All you have to do is keep your highest statted piece of gear, and then you can make it look like whatever you want it to look like. So if I want to make it look like these black gloves, I can. Or let's say these ones. Those kind of look nice with this. I totally can. Oh yeah, absolutely super cool. So how exactly do we summon a broom, guys? Cause I think we're outside of town, right? L2, R2, uh, that's a cabbage. <laughs> Let's uh, not get bit. <laughs> wanted to summon the broom. <laughs> Maybe we have to do this quest first before we can summon it? You know, I, I didn't play Xenoblade, but um, maybe, yeah. Rebellion. R3. Nope. It's not L or R3. Looking for gatherables while we're out here. Got some lace wing flies. Always nice to grab materials when we're out near them. Oh yeah, definitely. It may want us to do this quest first. I wonder if I could have gotten closer somehow. Oh, I probably could have just flown to like Hogwarts. It's okay, we'll just run. We're getting some nice scenery. And I'm looking for gatherables along the way. Making sure there's no puzzles on this bridge. Let's go for a nice jog. 
We go and buy a broom and then we go for a nice jog. Now I do have a question for myself here. In the gear section, we can now select them, right? Brooms. It just tells me I can upgrade it in the future. I'm probably gonna eventually just have all the brooms, because why not? <clears throat> I know, right? It's beautiful. Um, no PvP. Um, it is currently single player. I don't know if there's any plans of doing anything beyond or not, because I didn't read up on anything before I played it. Let's go grab that treasure chest. We're out here, so we might as well. Ooh. Or maybe not. Maybe that's something we have to figure out how to get later, because I don't have something to get rid of a solid stone door, and I can't go up there yet. It's all good. I can't go through there, can I? No. Okay. It wants. There's another gate. I probably walked right past it. Rebellion. Here we go, guys. Yep, literally right past the gate. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Hey, you, Hufflepuff. Rude. She was rude. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Oh, very I nice, Maggie. Thank him you. Once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, mm. and bumbling baboons. She's a butthead. For I don't like reason, her. <laughs> now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. I don't Slytherin think we're beating her time, Huffle but Huffle. we'll try. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Agreed. She's a little bit rude. I think we're going to lose, but I mean, we can try. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to remember how to use this. Okay, I'm remembering now. We are so gonna lose. Did it. I'm missing like all of those, guys. Ah. I missed a ring? Oh no. I thought I was in the ring. We're gonna lose, lose, lose. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this. Legit. It is hard. This is rather fun. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. I might have to turn the camera sensitivity down. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I can hit them on purpose, I would. We're going to have a long penalty. Oh, no. Come on. Into the ring. <laughs> have a little bit of aiming problem, guys. <laughs> And I missed another ring. Come on, I miss all of those. I almost wonder if I need to invert. Because I feel like um, I might need to invert the right stick. If it'll let me. Okay. Okay, we're starting to actually hit rings. 
Oh, missed. Absolutely. I am doing horrible game. I'm doing horrible. <laughs> We had four missed rings. Okay. So we just lost to her. <laughs> yes, yes. That was that was rough. Um, let me adjust my camera sensitivity and settings real quick, cause I and I also am curious if we can invert the right stick on controls. So let's find camera sensitivity. Let's take that back down a little bit, maybe like to 1.45. And let's see if it'll let me invert. Mm, I don't think it does. Oh wait, maybe in here. Left-handed, switch sticks aiming. What's that mean? Swap the functionality of left and right analog sticks while aiming, no. Toggle aim mode, no. Camera shake, I don't want any of that. Invert flight controls along the Y axis. I don't know if that's what I want, but let's try it. And that may be completely bad. If it is, I might not even make it through the flight. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. Let's give that another try. But what say you? Want to try again? Oh yeah, Laura, you're having a blast. I'm about to see if inverted flight controls are what I want. I don't know. You made level 18? Congratulations, Rob Allen. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very bad at the flying, Lori. We're gonna see how this goes. Ready when you are. Let's see if inverted flight controls are what I need to not be all messed up. Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> uh oh. This is rather fun. Actually, maybe. Oh no, I missed. Okay, I think invert is not what I need. Let's leave the racetrack so it cancels for us. Let's uninvert. <laughs> oh no, I need to leave. Game. We are going to make it through this. I need to uninvert my controls. <laughs> okay, we're going to try this with inverted controls. Okay. Woo. Inverted is actually really hard. We're not going to be speed boosting. We're going to have a very, very slow time on this. Oh, ho, ho. I'm just trying not to fly into the ground. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did it. I've always been bad at flying in games. Oh, I totally missed that. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. We can put this down as like literally the worst one I've seen on anyone's stream. Apparently inverted flight controls are not what I want. <laughs> We're gonna kind of gradually eventually make it through this. It's all good though. <laughs> I know, right? Because it won't. This is rather fun. It won't let you leave the course once you've missed this it. Takes some getting used to. Yep. <laughs> She's been having too much of the butter beer, guys. Oh. Okay. I missed that one. Hardcore missed it. Made it. <laughs> I think definitely inverted is not the way to go for me. Not good. Inverted's not the way to go. Okay. 
Let's try that with regular controls with the less camera sensitivity and see if that's what we wanted. Holy shnikes. One more try on regular controls, no inverted. Inverted is not our friend. Invert flight controls off. Okay. Let's um give this another try. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I heard that, Glad to see I'm still the At least I thought champion. I heard that maybe have but like what, something like that with Disney World or again? something. I don't know. Okay. Let's give this a try and see Ready when you are. How it goes. Because we're no longer inverted. Okay. Okay, we're no longer inverted. Oh. Did it. Oh, goodness. Why is it so hard to control this left stick? Okay, we're not inverted at least, so that's progress. Excellent. Okay. Pulling down the stick goes down. I missed that one. No, I got that one. It counted? Okay. Oh no. This is rather fun. Oh. Okay, it's better than inverted. Still mega sketch. I think if the left stick were a little bit less sensitive for me, that would be nice. I don't know what controls that in settings, though. We're making progress. Excellent. Hey, we got some of these. We're hitting them, we're hitting them. I'm not necessarily gonna be a fan of these racing things. Okay, we can hit those. Up. Down. Miss those all. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can beat our time. Woo! 153. Did anyone else see that? <laughs> okay, 153. That's better than before. Report back to Melda. Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. <laughs> we were driving Fine. like we had a you lot of butter beers, and we still won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Ooh, there's a real <laughs> recipe for butter beer. Not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove oh, yourself nice. if you want to earn my respect. We'll have to try that, Rachel. We made it, guys, and we did say hello to the trees. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher Oh, that sounds challenge. awful. <laughs> you can try to prepare by racing this course again. Uh, that Just sounds awful, too. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard <laughs> is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was oh, more goodness, than just a guys. fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. It was probably just a fluke. 110% a fluke. <laughs> so let's return to Albie. Um, I don't know how we fly yet. Um, so let's teleport. Because <laughs> I don't know how we actually fly. So we're just going to go here. <laughs> we made it, Billy. We did. Drink history, butter, beer, and beer, warm, warm beer. What? What? Nuh uh. <laughs> Let's see if we have any gear upgrades to equip. I don't think we do. We're fine. That was wild. That is definitely an experience. Definitely an experience. You're back. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Dude. Yes, we're back. 
Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! It's all good. Miss it's Rose all good. must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? I completely understand, Mr. Billy. Mr. is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, well, we would have, have a good night, Maggie Evie. On. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. I wonder if we can buy that upgrade yet. Me soon. <laughs> I know he said soon, but. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? What are we looking for today? Can we upgrade yet? Nope. We can just preview the that previous item brooms. Is of the highest quality. Which I think we should grab all these eventually, just not yet in case we need the money. You know? Um, that one, these are both uh, downgrades so we can sell them. So we at least get this out of our inventory. And now we need to go visit Thanks the potion to shop. By. Hope to see you again. Quest complete. Okay. I wonder if now that it counted the quest, it can. I wonder what that white square is. Nope, no upgrades yet. It's all good, though. Thanks I, for stopping I just by. want you to give us Hope an upgrade. Now, that broom in the back right there with the black fringe on the back end and that seat and the little cauldron hanging off the front, I want that one. That one in the back row. Or that front one. That looks like the saddlebag broom. I definitely like that one from the view from the side, and now we can see it. Rebellion. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if we can eventually get that black broom. Very cool indeed. We need to go over to the potion shop. Um, here. J. Pippins. Oh, wait. That's J. Pippin's potions, but say, it, it, quest mark keeps moving. That's weird. We'll teleport. <laughs> we'll teleport. It's exciting. We got the rumor requirement. We got our broom. I have to figure out how to fly so outside of the city. But still. I guess we have to go in probably the front door. That'd be a good plan. student might need when it comes to potions. Okay. Have a good look at it. Let's double check what we need to get for our quest. Um, a focus potion, Maxima, and Endurus. That sounds expensive. What can I do for you today? We need to get recipes too. Focus, Thunder Brew, Invisibility, and Maxima. Let's buy the stuff to where we can actually make these. A wise decision. Thunder Thank Brew, you. a powerful damage potion. We'll grab that because we have the money right now. Invisibility, Maxima. And we can actually buy the potions. Uh, focus, Endurus. And it wanted Maxima, right? Maxima. Oh, wise decision. Thank you. Focus. Endurus. Okay. I wish we could see how many we have of these when we hover. But we got everything we need for our quest. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. And we got new potions unlocked. 
Very cool. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with We just spent a lot of money. Yes, I do. <laughs> a capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. To Cambridge. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. No. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. Aww. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Aww. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, let's figure out how to use our broom. Because I imagine we should be able to use our broom now if we're outside the city, right? So let's run outside of the city. Um, eventually. <laughs> this is exciting, guys. Absolutely exciting. I know we could probably teleport closer, but I just want to get outside the city and see where we can summon the broom. Hogsmeade, here I come. I wonder where it counts as outside of the city. And I know we're probably going definitely the wrong way. How far outside do we have to be? Cause I'm way here. Let's world map it. Where's somewhere we can teleport that's for sure not in a city? This is for sure not anywhere near we're going. North Hogwarts region. region. Let's teleport. Can we fly in the forest? Oh, interesting. I wonder what key we need to press. Okay. I'm checking something. Equip your broom by holding L, B, L1, or tab. So L1. And press B, circle, or three. Okay. Well... Equip by pressing L1, and then press circle. Oh, L1, and then circle. Now we can fly. So you do L1, and then circle if you're on a PS5 controller. And you boost your speed. We can fly, guys. How exciting is that? I know we're a bit far away, but let's take a nice little flight over. And uh, check out the scenery along the way, because we can fly now, guys. I think I may want to grab a broom without the um, embers because I like the light up, but we could definitely do without it. A quest to follow butterflies. I wonder what this square is. It keeps popping up on my screen. Just a white square. That's new today. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We can fly. I still have no idea what that white square is. It keeps popping up. So my apologies, guys. We're working uh, towards going to Fatima with the three invisibility potions. Look at all this beautiful area where we can just fly through. Let's go lower. So it's a lot easier when you're free flying and not having to focus on going through rings. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Definitely is. Hello, trees. So beautiful. Hey, Electro, I'm doing great. How are you doing? We just got our broom, and we unlocked the Room of Requirement. 
And we spent a ton of money on spells. <laughs> Having a blast playing, though. Stream crashed earlier and we lost everyone and we had to start back up. <laughs> so that was interesting. But it's been a blast. I hope you're having a good day. Yes, it's gorgeous out here. Absolutely. Wow. I think I do want to go buy a different broom, though. I'm not a fan of the ember. Ember look, so we may go buy a different broom. And then circle to land. Madame Le Wong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Doing good? Oh, nice. Work Very nice. Him, Glad to have you here, Electro. Hope your chores go well. Way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than Aww. he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. Mm. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Okay. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. What? Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. What? Drink it. That's a lot of extra, but okay. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. We did. Um, this second half of the stream's been going for four and a half hours because it crashed about four and a half hours ago, but I'm um, definitely, definitely. So we need to drink an invisibility potion. Okay. We drank one invisibility potion. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Hufflepuff, <laughs> Electro. Chance, have you taken the quiz? But Ned Duel had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Yeah, I definitely do Hufflepuff. Um, the second house that I associate with is... Oh, Lordy, how am I not remembering right now? Not Gryffindor, not Slytherin. Uh, Ravenclaw, Lordy Lou. <laughs> you mentioned that more and more customers. I like to think to of myself as a Huffleclaw. Well, I oh, your PC can't run the game. Them. Oh no! But certainly, my you should get a PS5. Have their that would be good. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Ravenclaw, very nice. Very nice, Rachel. <laughs> Claw Huffle, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tend to go with the order in which I associate, so I think Huffle first and then Claw for me. Um, but I could definitely see it going that way. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Okay, so she has materials. I wish you would tell me how much of the materials I have when I'm in the shop. That I would be something I'd really like to see. Release L1 to equip. Okay. So let's return to Perry Pippin. We're gonna just teleport to him. Although I do like flying. And we're gonna go buy a different broom. Um, I want a different broom. So let's uh, teleport to Mr. Pippin. With a dash of Slytherin. Hey, definitely, definitely. On my second playthrough, I kind of want to do um, either Hufflepuff and like curse magic. Um, so like uh, Dark Puff, Evil Puff. 
or I want to do um, Ravenclaw and Dark Magic. So on my next bill uh, playthrough, I do want to play with the dark magic. I just wanted to do like good Hufflepuff on the first playthrough. Look, he's a sign spinner, guys. Like the ones on the side of the street. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? Yeah, I did your quest. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very mm -hmm. good. New broom and for sure. Uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Right now it's 11.48 p.m. What time's it there for you, um, Electro? You're in one of those half-hour time zones, aren't you? It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Very nice. Time to go buy another broom. Let's see if that hat's an update. An upgrade, not an update. Lordy Lou, my words. They elude me. Oh, it's a cosmetic only. Let's see what it looks like. I don't like a lot of these hats, just to say. That one is more likable than some of the others. But I would say most of the game, we're probably not going to be wearing hats. <laughs> it's okay, though. We're going to go hatless. And uh, let's go check out um, the shop real quick. Off we go. 1018 for you. Nice. 8.48 for you, Rachel. 3.48 p.m. Wow, you guys are all over. That's impressive. Very impressive. Okay, here we go. 11.50 p.m. Nice. Oh, you're Eastern. Nice, Billy. Eastern Standard. Good old Eastern Standard. That's what I'm used to. <sighs> You're back. Nice to see you again. Definitely. I need to shop. <laughs> what are we looking for today? Okay. That item is of the highest quality. So I really kind of like this one when I see it sitting over there. Um, I don't like the scraggly butt on that. The end of this is kind of chopped. I that like the house the broom. Quality. But I think I prefer this one, actually. The moon trimmer. So let's buy a moon trimmer. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. And uh, let's buy the house broom. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to leave the other two behind. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Gryffindor and Evil. Interesting. 1.20 a.m. there. Nice. Oh, you're another one of those 30-minute time zone type dealios. Very interesting. I didn't even know those existed until I started streaming. You know, um, let's go right outside the city and let's fly and try out one of our new brooms, but we need to equip our new broom first. It's so cool. This area is so cool. It has a little no flight symbol. Uh, let's just jump. I don't think there's fall damage. There's not a no-flight symbol here, so we're good. So let's go into our brooms. Brooms, plural. We are like rich people now, guys. Here we go. And let's swap out which broom we have. And let's play with the moon trimmer. Because I think I like it. Okay. Let's give it a good old try. So it'll be L1 and circle. Yep, I like that. It's got the little glow box in the front. That kind of helps me see where I'm going a bit better, too. So nice. We can fly now, guys. Yeah, it looks like a little moon in a box. Very cool. Look at that with a nice sky on it. Can't enter while mounted. That's fine. 
Let's head back to Hogwarts, but fly there. Oh yeah, you can definitely buy clothes too. Um, but even if you sell the clothes, as long as you've owned them, even just for a second, you can transmog the look onto your other gear. Yeah, I like the headlight look. It's nice. Helps me see. Definitely helps me see. Check that out, guys. Absolutely the coolest. Summoner's Court. There's a quest over here for us. I should dismount here. Let's talk to Leander. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Okay. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Very nice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Okay. Akio. He's red. I guess I'm blue. Oh, so this is... Um, what's that game where um, you pull Nothing back the it. lever and there's a ball and it hits things? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, ping pong tape. Not ping pong. That's a different game. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh my goodness, you pull the little lever back and it hits a ball and it hits all these things that light up in the game. One more day. Ooh, you're gonna get there soon. That's exciting. Oh no. Not beating that. We're gonna lose. <laughs> Shoot, we gotta get 50 to beat that. That's a problem. Let's see if we can get 50 through here. Can we get 50? That was one for the ages. Well done. You beat me. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Pinball! Yes, that's the word. Thank you, guys. I don't know. I good luck. can't think That's of the all. word. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Pinball. Fine. You're good. Better than I am, at least. Pinball's I'll let the fun. Know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Day. Oh, no. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I almost lost I to him, so. Right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested. And that you passed. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. I can't believe we can fly now. That's exciting. So, in the shadow of Undercroft, learn a curse with Sebastian. Defense against the Dark Arts classroom. So let's go do our main quest. And then we need to learn to Pulso from Professor Sharp for his assignment, because we need to learn our spells. So let's go meet Sebastian, because it's a level eight required quest, and we're apparently like way behind on keeping up with our quest. So let's uh, find that on the map. And let's give ourselves a good old teleporter Rooney over here. That works for me. Pinball. Oh yeah, past two days. Hogwarts, good. It's so much fun, Electro. I think you would enjoy the game. There's a quest down here. I don't know what this box is. It keeps popping up. I'm very interested in what that is. Probably something to do with my stream crashing. Sebastian, I need to do your quest. Ooh, hello, I see something here. 
Revelio. Serpentine Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. Oh, very cool. Hmm. Rhinoceros skeleton. You lost four times to him? Oh. You can upgrade your PC? That'll be good. Hey, trash can man raid guys trash can man raid um welcome aboard welcome aboard were you guys uh, shiny hunting in pokemon or what were you playing today i'm gonna grab uh the link real quick for trash can man if you guys aren't subscribed you should be um let's see helps if i go to youtube.com and thank you for the raid thank you thank you thank you for the raid welcome aboard everybody I'm about to send the link through um, to everyone here. Welcome, welcome, welcome for the and thank you for the raid. Shiny hunty three second Dunsparce again. Very nice. Um, how many have you gone now? And did you have any luck? Welcome, welcome. I see Neo, Dairy Dream, Trash Can. 240. Oof. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> You're going to get there eventually. Welcome, Dragon. Welcome, Sir Barnabas. So glad to have you guys here. Let me get us back on the screen. I wanted to link in. Um, but yeah, that's um, Trash Can Man's YouTube. He's been hunting shiny three segment to Dunsparce for uh, what, a couple of weeks now? Um, hopefully, you get it soon. Hey, Sir She Wolf. Um, I'm going to cross my fingers and wish you guys okay. luck. Um, we're about to do this quest, but I see a, another quest down here that we should pick up. So let's pick this up before we talk to Sebastian. We've been having a blast playing Hogwarts I Legacy. I be able to help me with a small uh, project. A small project, eh? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard two all months about now. You, of course, oof, oof. Confronting trolls and dragons. 199 phases. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Started storming. Ended early. Hey, after 199 phases, you deserve a break and to get to relax in a stream, you know? Oh, that's nice to hear. Ooh, it's so much fun, Dragon Claw. So much fun. I'm going to presume your reputation the is graphics are beautiful. The game play is fun. The combat is fun. The, I need. the decorating see, and customization. We were learning to repel They've done everything very well. Professor Hecate's class, and well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a a puff skein. What's a puff skein? Are you afraid of your own shadow too? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be a jerk. Let's be. They can be scary. We'll be nice. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. disturbing. Exactly. <laughs> I wish more of our fellow you students. You guys kind of look like you. Harry Potter a little Regardless bit. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> That's unkind. It's actually kind of funny. We should be honest. Um, so I'm actually playing on my gaming computer, but I have a PS5 controller hooked up to Steam. Um, that's how I'm preferring to play it right now. But if I wasn't streaming, I'd probably play it on PS5. Uh, what do you guys plan to play it on? Oh, nice. Definitely. Um, crocheting is a blast. I remember my mom taught me when I was little. Definitely keep us up to date. Duncan Harry from the past. Ancestor to Harry Potter. He could be. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you have to admit, admit that's It is rather clever. clever yeah. I do not have to admit that. <laughs> Ever said the Duncan same Duncan Hobhouse. Thing. Oh, anyway, goodness. To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor? I think corridor? you guys will like yes. it. Rumor has it. Oh, all good. Whenever you get it, before Professor I think Garlic it'll be worth it. Kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. 
Oh, yeah, it's all good, uh, Sashi Wolf. Make yourself at home in the chat. Make yourself at home. And, uh, guys, feel free to, um, just hang out and chill. Um, we're, we just got our broom. We got the room of requirements, which is like a room you can customize and decorate and put stuff in. And we just bought another broom. And we're doing some main story quests and kind of just having a blast. What sort of I'm glad to I have you all here. In herbology corridor. I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Sorry if you hear crinkling, guys. The cat's after the Taco Bell bag from earlier today. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Oh, that's really cool. You guys are like somewhat twinsies. So find and enter mm. the hidden herbology, hidden herbology corridor. corridor. Sounds intriguing. So we're not going to be doing that just yet because we want to focus on the main story quest. Because this game you can get mega sidetracked by side quest. Um, so we're just going to focus on the main quest and we'll pick up side quests along the way. And what we'll probably do is next stream we'll probably focus on some of the side quests. So Over here. Uh, yellow means main quest. Hey Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received yes, my Yes, cat is evil. <laughs> I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk hmm, more I in a am. moment I'm a Hufflepuff. in the Undercroft. Um, what are you guys when you take the quiz place. for uh, Harry Potter? Like if you do the Wizarding World quiz this way. or what used to be called Pottermore's website? We're gonna enter a secret room, guys. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Look at that. I love the art. Ooh, Undercroft. Here we go. Team Hufflepuff and the Ravenclaws, yeah. Oh, it's so good. You guys are gonna love the game. Love, love, love the game. Even if you do have to wait a bit longer or if it's coming out on the console that you play on How later you in the year, it'll be worth it. My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Where'd he, he named oh, the he's over there. We used to play golf all the time. There's treasure chest. Before and we talk to him. She loved that infernal game. I'm gonna open these chests. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, a jumper. keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Revelio. He used to sneak in here. Very cool. I hope I'm like standing on that. Hey, we got a wing weld potion. That's like a free 300 money. Okay, let's go talk to him now. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind. I got a dolphin no as my Patronus Neo. It. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no oh, one. Pixel. Especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Oh. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Oh. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. We'll anyway, be here, Neo. We'll be here. The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Mm. Like the Blasting Curse. Ooh. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I'm going to go with it does sound dangerous. So 
my playthrough for this one, I'm doing a good Hufflepuff playthrough. I'm gonna do another playthrough, I think, where I wanna do Dark Hufflepuff, where we learn the curses and stuff. Um, as long as we don't learn the curses, we can go through and do all the side quests with um, Sebastian. But if you do side quests and you learn the curses, it can affect your game outcome and gameplay. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. <laughs> he frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. Oh, interesting. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained Ooh, we can hands. learn Confringo, I think. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. I wonder fair, if Confringo would be bad to learn. partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Ooh, Confringo. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Okay, so this one's a main story quest, so we're safe to do the incantation it. Incantation is Cat, stop. Very well. Okay, so we can learn Confringo because it's the main story one. That's fine. And basically, you press along here and follow the path and the shape, and then you press the correct one. So Confringo's allowed. It's not one of the dark ones. You're getting it. But you can do the dark ones if you really want to. Stick to the targets, though. Ooh. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Let's assign it to... A long-range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions will result in incendiary burst. We'll put it there for now. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Okay. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? Nice. It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Okay. I think I'm not aiming properly. No. Oh, I have to actually press the button. Go me, guys. Go me. Then this one. Oh, no. Aim. Cat, stop. There we go. So we've lit the lanterns in the room. Confringo's good. Sorry, one sec, guys. I'm gonna have to move the cat. <clears throat> Where I was sick earlier this week, I've got my bag of medicine at the desk, and she's like rolling around in the bag of medicine. <laughs> so it's just constantly crinkling and driving me bonkers. One sec while I uncrinkle this away from her. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's talk to Sebastian. Now, I'm curious. Let me check something with his spells. So, Incendio. Range is short, deals significant damage, and lights certain objects on fire. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks will continue to take damage. So it's short range. And this is long range. I wonder what the actual damage is on these. Because I wonder about having both spells on the main bar. Because basically, the way this works is if we hold R2 and we press up, we have this bar, over we have this bar, down we have this bar. That's kind of like my decorating bar at the moment. The top one's my attack, and these are more my utilities. But we had to take our disarming spell off of that bar to fit it, because I like to keep Levioso and Accio. So we'll play with this. I have to say, yes, I Cat got that. in trouble. The first Cat time got in trouble. I can fringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> oh no! I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can That's do... Really cool. Perhaps That's really cool. That's really cool, Neo. Perhaps when I next head to you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Okay, we need to cheer Anne up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. 
Unfortunately, no. you'll have to meet him too. Unfortunately, well, meeting Oof. a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm uh, not sure where to start. You said something yeah. was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Ooh, I guess we tell him the truth. Or not ready to tell him. Let's tell him. You must promise to he's keep sketchy, this between us. but he's okay. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Ooh, when so... I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Neo, I'm doing this run as a good Hufflepuff, and my next run I'm going to do a dark run with curses and uh, all the uh, forbidden spells. So that'll definitely be fun. Rebellion. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything in here. Okay, yep, time to leave the Undercroft. So we got Confringo now, that's awesome. Oh yeah, just found it on my own if anyone asks. For sure. I don't want to get him in trouble. He's already gotten in trouble for us a few times. Someone's going to be sitting here waiting. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. His oh, eyes are weird. Oh, ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the underworld? Mm. How did yeah, you we've been in? having a blast. Everyone else I've seen is doing Dark Hufflepuff for their first playthrough, like Dark Magic, and I want to do good. Good Hufflepuff. And then second playthrough, Dark. I'll put I stumbled upon it. I hate to lie to him, but I don't want to tell him Sebastian. Or he should, he knows about the Undercroft, right? I could say Sebastian showed me. He is blind? Oh. Let's try the honest route being Sebastian showed me. Uh, I don't want to lie to him. And he is Sebastian's friend, right? Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat, the bad playthrough, yeah, definitely. A word about this place to anyone. Yeah, we're definitely and not still even here, your Patrick. Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. You're his friend. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. I know, I, I know. Meant... <laughs> I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Aww. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I don't like him. <laughs> um, the main issue I have come across with gameplay for me is one I think that's very specific to playing on PC with a PS5 controller for Steam. Basically, if I select PS5 controller, my button to pull up the map doesn't work. If I select not PS5 or just like basic controller, 
it works, but I have to hardwire my controller to the computer instead of Bluetooth or my X button doesn't work. But so long as I select not a PS5 controller, even though it is, and plug my controller into the computer, it works great. <laughs> I think it's just one of those weird glitches with Steam. Said not to tell him? Oh, interesting. Well, I thought I could tell him because he's his friend, but I didn't listen to that part, I guess. So Sebastian might get cranky at me. He'll be fine. I would like to teach you Wingardium Ooh. Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. But yeah, that his friend is mean for being a friend, guys. His friend is mean. Okay, so she wants to tell us how to win Guardian Leviosa. So let's go into our quest. And we have the map chamber, level 10 required. Um, but we want to get to Pulso and Wingardium Leviosa. It says acquire and use Venomous Tentacula. Tentacula? And acquire and use Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Oh, okay. Dogweed and Death Cap. We need to go get those. We got the stuff to do Professor Sharp's assignment. So let's do Professor Sharp's assignment. And then go get the stuff for uh, Professor Garlic's assignment. And then we have the map chamber, so we could go. We should go to Professor Fig. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this one real quick. That'll be good. Okay. Um. I think I'm not pulling up the right area. Professor Sharp's assignment. Let's untrack and retrack it. And read that quest real quick. Wants me to wants me to test myself under the influence of both Maximum and Duris potions. He'd also like me to field test a focus potion. Um, my field guide will not get me through this time, but my map can still prov prov uh, prove useful. So he just wants me to use these. It doesn't say at his classroom or anything like that. So maybe just out in the wild, I guess. I hate to use all the potions and be wrong, <laughs> but let's use the potions and go try this. And let's do world map and go out somewhere where we can fly and find some critters. There should be some critters out here and we can go get this fast transport spot. So let's travel out here. Okay, so let's fly and I hope you have your affairs. Oh, I, I hear some I hear baddies over there the red arrows I assume Let's gather let's get this transportation spot the teleport spot you let things catch your eye too easy friend. You need to watch for the person I hear uh, music as if something wants to attack me. Over there. There we go. There we go. Down is where it says. Up. <laughs> Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me Bend before. down. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... Let's hop off that. here real quick, and let's use a focus potion. And... Where is our focus potion? Focus potion. Okay, so that counts. Maximum endurance potion, use them simultaneously. Okay. Mandrake, invisibility. Maximum endurance. Excellent. Attend potion class during the day. Huh. 
Well. Will it let us? I'm curious if it'll let us wait till day by going here. Let's teleport and see if it will. Oh, you talked to your crush earlier today, Neo? Congratulations. Indeed. I hope your that went well. I'm most pleased to be included. I understand, though. Adrenaline all day now, right? Um, I think we need to be going down the stairs. I'm hoping it'll give us an option to do the wait thing where it takes us into the daytime. I hear the ghosts fighting again. It's gonna do this weird thing where we have to touch the door. For some reason, it paths that way through the door. Okay, here we go. Every time I walk by, I hear that beautiful music. Oh, I could have teleported right there. All good. All good. You can advance time by accessing the map and pressing R3. Wait to advance time from day to night or night to day. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm glad it lets us do that. Okay, guys. Into potions class. So we can learn a new spell. This quest wasn't expensive at all. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. Ah, nerves are okay. It just means you're excited. Rebellion. See if anything new has shown up in here. I guess we'll just go talk to him. Curious. Nope, nothing over here. How are your assignments? I'm such a clutch in game. <laughs> I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn Depulso. Let's see what you can do. I think Depulso is the spell that moves stuff away, right? Do not let your mind wander. There we go, we learned to pulse so. So that's gonna be the opposite You've of Accio, I believe. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. I guess we'll put it here for now. I'm gonna have to rearrange my spells because it seems like Accio and Pulso should be near each other. Let's see what we have in the other slots. I can put it over here for now. Thinking. Thinking for sure. Okay, let's give it a good old try. Oops. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master Oops. your spell casting. Oops. Okay, so the pulso pushes away, so opposite of Accio. Interesting. Well, good to know. We have now learned to pulso. So, we can go on to. Mm. Professor Garlic wants me to find and test a venomous tentacula and mandrake. 
Visit Dogweed and Deathcap. So let's go visit Dogweed and Deathcap and get Wingardium Leviosa. And get these. <laughs> so that should be good. And we get to go to the city again. Mandrake and multiple enemies simultaneously. Okay. So, time to go to the city. And our quest should be somewhere in here. I just don't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. It's literally right there. Follow the butterflies. Ooh, I heard Clementine Willardsley talking to herself in the three broomsticks. She mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. Talk to her and we can get conjuration spellcraft. Let's actually go there first. Ooh, you're seeing what your Patronus was? Very nice. What'd you get for your Patronus? Looks sweet, here I come. Oh, that's exciting. Congrats. Congrats. I'll say it again. I can't thank you enough for help. Look at her outfit. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine Willardsley. Oh, very nice. That's a good one to get. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrational quest for butterflies. Absolutely. Ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies That's much better than the spiders the earlier. <laughs> you couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. I imagine. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Oh, Otter's a good one, Neo. Yes, butterflies are cute. Follow Don't the forget, butterflies. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringe. So the let's follow the butterflies first. Um, it's nice to do a little side quest. We have to get out of the city before we can ride our broom again. It's been a while since I've liked a game this much. I think they did a truly fantastic job. Got our good old jog in here. We can fly now, by the way. <laughs> Butterflies in the Forbidden Forest. It up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Very cool. This is so much better than the spiders earlier, guys. There's a cave of spiders earlier, and it it was it lasted like 30 minutes. <laughs> it was definitely a thing I was not a fan of. took the quiz, it gave me dolphin. Uh, I was like, okay, we'll go with it. A chest. Oh, wow. Look what we have here. Painting. 
Okay. We need to update Miss Willardsley. So let's fly back to her. That's really cool. Guys, I like that one. Let's fly right here. Yeah, spiders are no go. Spiders are for sure no go. How nice to see okay. you, my young friend. That was a surprisingly nice and quick quest. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Yeah, there's a lot of spiders, Patrick. There's a lot. Definitely a lot. <laughs> it's okay, though. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were Oh, she's so sweet. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Oh, that's sweet. I still don't know this white square as it keeps popping up. I think maybe it has to do with steam. Okay, so we got a talent point. We got to level 18. Let's assign our talent point real quick, guys. Uh, should be in... Uh... Here for talents. I could have just gone straight to talents. Um, we got new spells. Let's see what the upgrades do. Reduce additional blasts around you. So basically that gets guys to go away from us. Compringo impacts uh produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Yes. Let's upgrade Compringo. That sounds good. We have upgrade Compringo. Okay. Very, very nice. Now, we need to track our next quest on here because we need to go to... I, for the life of me, cannot remember what it's called. Is it this? Dogweed and Death Cap. That's where we need to go. That is our waypoint. So we'll go ahead and teleport here. I know, right? I walk in and just steal stuff right from their trunks. We go thieving a lot. It seems it's like, hey guys, get in, we're going thieving. And the game's like, yep, sounds good. I'll literally walk into someone's house right in front of them, and the game just lets me thieve away. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me Ooh. in my classroom to learn Defendo. Defendo. Charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. We're about to learn... Oh, we just walk right up here. Okay, we didn't even have to fly. We're about to learn a new spell, guys. Revenia. Not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacular. Let's see. I think we need... I think this is one of the hidden chests, so let's do this. Oh, that's not a hidden chest. It's just a regular one, isn't it? I did that for no reason. If it had an eyeball, we wouldn't need to do that. We got a house emblem scarf. <laughs> It's all good. I'm trying to unsneak. <laughs> let me roll. It won't let me roll because I'm in here walking. So we're stuck sneaking. One sec, we gotta walk out the door. <laughs> Lumos. Now we're Lumos. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna walk out the door. Can I roll now? There we go. That's fine. It's whatever. Let's uh, go talk to her real quick. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay, we'll move that over here. There we go. We're not Lumos anymore. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Ooh, a Kelpie. That's a cool one. So. Let me read the wording Such on the quest before we go spending money, because I have a feeling this is about to get expensive. To by soon. So for this quest... <clears throat> Acquire and use Venomous Tentacula. Acquire and use Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Mandrake and Venomous Tentacula. Let's check our inventory to make sure we don't have some of these. Because I don't think we have Mandrake. We don't have either of these, so we're going to have to buy them. Okay, there we go. Ooh, before we go in here, because I'm going to sell uh, gear that's not an upgrade, 
We need to make sure we have any upgrades equipped. Those are 42. Those are not as good. Let's check here. 32. We can sell the extra things, so that's good. And don't be afraid to sell anything that you're only holding on for well, cosmetics, because you can transmog of what's available. once you've owned the gear. But your things will be safe with me. I apparently need to equip that scarf real quick. Doors always open. So sure let's equip that things. scarf, because I didn't realize I had an upgrade for the scarf. Because I apparently didn't look. So 4136, we'll equip this. And we can change the way it looks, like so. And we can go back to having whichever one we want. That's a nice change of pace. We might use this for a bit. Maybe that, no. We go good old Hufflepuff. These, this key one's kind of nice. Um, That's a bit busy. Let's go back to what we had for now. We could represent. Or we could have it show nothing as well. That's actually a nice change. Let's go no scarf. She's probably a bit toasty, right? Oh yeah, I definitely don't like spiders at all. A game plus? That would be cool. I would like well, a game plus. See we show you some of what's available. Okay. Venomous tenticulous seeds cost a thousand and fifty. Oh. Mandrakes, we can grow them. Let's see how much it costs in a bit of fertilizer. Oof. So we can afford to buy them outright, but then we have no money. Or we can afford to buy either a mandrake or this to grow them in large pots, but I don't know. Small pot and large pot. I don't want us to be stuck forever on this quest. I think we just buy them, right? And then we earn the money, but that's all of our money. We could do the other quests first and see if we get more money while we're doing the other quest and come back and do this. Because I'd much rather have more money and come buy the seeds and grow them. Because if we grow them, we aren't just having one, right? So let's look at our other quest real quick, because that's open. money. You be sure to stop by soon. So let's hop in here real quick and see our other quest. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd definitely be cool. Now, they let you have multiple save files, so I don't know if they're going to do that, but it would be nice. Professor Sharp's assignment. Use an invisibility potion and use Thunder Brew against enemies. Let's check what's needed to make those potions. Pippin's potions. And let's see if I have them. Uh, cat is edited again, guys. I'll need the big pot workbench. Is it hard to get that upgrade? Because if I should just buy them outright, I can. I don't mind to. We're just going to be poor. We have, like, almost nothing in here now. We do have materials for some of these things. What would you do, Rachel? What would you do? Because we're going to need money for both of these. <laughs> Definitely money for both of those. We can go do the main quest for the map chamber. And see if we get more items to sell and get more money towards working towards these. Because I think we can do the map chamber part without having um, Wingardium Leviosa. Or uh, Defendo. So let's do the map chamber. I think it's kind of that way I'm leaning because we'll get a bunch of gear and stuff that we can sell for money. Let's do that. 
because uh, we're a bit poor. <laughs> we're definitely a bit poor at the moment. Um, that's going to be in the Hogwarts map area. And we can teleport right here. Yeah, I'm curious how hard it is to get the bench. Um, before we go and do this, let's see if we have the ability to just place the bench down, because we might. Because um, we can teleport right back here, but let's go to the astronomy wing, seventh floor. Um, let's see. Curious. Yeah, we'll just uh, fly right on over here for a second. Because this should be right where our room of requirement is. It's all good. It's all good. Is this the seventh floor? Or are we too high up? I've never Can tried actually coming to back to the room of requirement. I'm most pleased to be included. Was it in this tower? I know it was across from the dancing ogres. Where are the dancing ogres? There they are. Found it. So that's a good teleport spot for that. Equipping better gear will help you fight a high. Yeah, yeah. So. Let's see what we can do in here. Okay, so summoning. Potions, right? Nope. Conjuration. Ooh, okay. Purchase from tomes and scrolls. So we need to buy the recipe. Um, so that's with a small pot, with five small pots, with three small pots. Medium potting tables. Purchase from tomes and recipes. Large. So we're going to need more than one potting table, aren't we, guys? Composters. So it's going to cost money to get this, too. <laughs> so basically, purchase from Tomes and Scrolls. I'm assuming that's a store, and we're going to need to buy stuff. More decorations. Have we got more? Eclectic. Botanical. What's up with the botanical one? Oh, that's cute. That's cute, too. Let's be predictable and toss one of these out. I don't notice any difference. Oh, that's the difference. I have to actually do it before I place it. The yellow kind of looks gold. Let's go with... The green looks like it's rusty bronze. We'll go with that for now. We conjured a thing while we're in here. We have furniture. Partition. This is so much fun, guys. You know, oh, that's really cute, actually, the eclectic one is. Let's change the color. Um, yeah. If you don't do the pre-order um, and deluxe edition, the 10th, 
If you do the deluxe edition, you can play it now on PS5. But it's almost Friday anyways. That is really kind of cute. I know we don't really have a place for this right now, but it's fine. We just kind of toss this here. We didn't act like we decorated. It looks like we got more art. Let's make it bigger. Put that there. Let's put one above it. Nice. I like that we get more stuff as we go out and adventure. I think it's really cute. Ooh, I wonder if any of these looks comfy. Scientific. Let's try the botanical. And change the color. There's white. We can make it really big. Oh, look at our really big chair, guys. I like our really big chair. It seems impractical. Now let's make ourselves a normal sized chair. <laughs> An itty bitty chair. Oh, God. This is amazing, guys. I love it. That is definitely um, a seating area, just in case we have giants over. You never know. Let's grab ourselves a small botanical table. I don't think I actually like the swirl on that one. Let's change the table type. I think I like the eclectic table a bit better. Let's look at the other ones, though. And the great thing is you can mix and match stuff. Small gothic table. Look at how big it is. <laughs> oh, sorry, I find it hilarious. I wonder if we can even sit in that chair. I have too much fun. I want to be super matchy matchy, so I think we may go with a lighter color. Actually, this default one's kind of nice. That darker wood. Ooh, nice, Eric. Nice. Also, hi. I didn't say hi. I just answered questions. My apologies. Thank you for being here for the stream. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Let's see what else we got in here. Wall hangings. A flower box with... Flowers. Okay. We got flowers. Massive flowers. Itty bitty flowers. <laughs> We're gonna go with normal flowers. I know I somewhat kid about that massive chair, but I kind of, I, it's kind of fun. That's so cool. Okay, that was fun. At least now we know we have to go buy the spells to make these things. Can we even sit in this massive chair? We can stand on it. <laughs> I still don't know what that white square is. It keeps popping up, so that's kind of weird, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and report to Professor Fig, because bottom line is we need money. We either need money to buy spells to make a bigger table, or we need money to buy the items outright. And doing this quest with Professor Fig will help. Hey, Dev, glad to have you here for sure. We're having a blast tonight. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and head to Professor Fig. Doesn't mean I'm obliged to agree. Okay, let's wish ourselves luck here. Apparently, I don't use my healing potions ever. I wonder if I could sell those and make some money. It says I have 21 of them. Here we go, guys. Ooh, Quarius. There's a treasure chest behind there. This was part of a treasure map thing. And we're gonna have to do that quest eventually, but I wasn't sure why. Ooh. 
What's up with that? Confringo, maybe? Confringo. That's way over there. Nice, you got a field guide page. I wonder if that's like Steam achievements trying to pop up. Cause that white box gets bothersome, but it's new today. Okay, on with the main quest, guys. Hey, I hope you sleep well. Thanks for coming to hang out. It's nice to have you here. I was hoping to see you. I'm really beginning to think Professor Fig is maybe kind of sketchy. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? <laughs> Quite yes, we did. But you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret Hey, no cabin. worries, Data, no worries, I went Data. There, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Ooh. Eric, so... I tried to stream way back in the day. Um, basically, I wanted to stream Animal Crossing when it came out, but my computer couldn't handle it. So I attempted, but it, it just couldn't because my computer couldn't handle a capture card, which you need to do Animal Crossing because it's on the Switch. And then a while back, I finally got a computer that could handle a capture card, but I didn't have one yet um, because I just got a computer that could handle one. So I tried some Final Fantasy, but it wasn't really popular when I tried it. So um, I decided to come back and play when I could get a capture card to play things on like Switch and stuff. The room and is um, the map chamber, by the way. The last five and or six months. Of Percival Rackham yeah. awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. I've only been a YouTube partner since about October or November, so I'm very new. I'm a noob, a complete noob. But we're making it, we're making it bit by bit. So we're about to head down these stairs. We got the treasure chest when we were in here earlier, so we're good there. Lovely to see you both. Oh, it's the teleport lady. Okay, I have a feeling something's about to happen, guys. To well, thank you, Patrick. It was beneath us all this time. Some of these names are hilarious, Paige. He just is coming off kind of sketch, guys. I don't want him to, but he is kind of coming off sketch. I'm hoping our professor isn't a bad guy. Nice, Eric. Very nice. I always look for new streamers, too. I like to have a stream going on in the background whenever I'm not streaming. This looks promising. Yeah, I think Professor Fig is... Either he's just coming off wonky or he might be a bad guy. I guess we'll find out. But look at that. Hooey. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. 
the map. Aw, thank you for the vote There's of confidence, Patrick. Hogsmead. And over here, I the tried. Forbidden Forest. Look at this map. And of course, Hogwarts. That's it's so beautiful, guys. Yeah, it's like a starry night sky. A map made of stars. Stunning. If only you were here to see this. He could just be anxious and maybe not sketchy. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why <laughs> we you do have stitch emoji. I made chamber. it. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable okay, knowledge. Okay, so four trials. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Uh, yeah. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the yeah, knowledge Allen, that we agreed. have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. Okay. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. Interesting. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Aww. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Okay. Shall we have oh, a Oh, congrats, She Wolf. That's awesome. Also, guys, Nightbot said it's been a whole hour. We should probably drink I some water. Tower. Good to stay hydrated. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Water, water. Yep, Patrick. Nightbot might take a second for that to come through. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay. That he tells me not to tell anyone where I'm going is also kind of sketch, but I get it. 
Look at how beautiful this is. And see, we can see the tower here all lit up. And that white box on my screen for no reason in particular, I don't know. So meet Professor Fig at the tower. Very fishy indeed, very fishy indeed. So let's go meet Professor Fig at the tower, but hang tight for a second. I think we should take like a five minute and get some uh, more it's water. You learned, Iglesias, the let's freezer. see, trying to free my mouse for a second. Uh, one sec while I check one thing, guys. Hang tight with me. We're still here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're about to take just a five minute, and I think we're going to do this quest. So that sounds good. Um, I'm going to put this on the Be Right Back screen. I think. Let me get this thing to cooperate. There we go. But I'm gonna leave us with the Harry Potter music while we be right back so I don't have to switch the audio around. So let's do, I don't know if I made a be right back command, Patrick. I'm spacing today. Um, thank you for hanging out, Trash Can Man, and let's take a three to five minute break, um, come back with water and possibly snacks, and let's go do this next quest and see how far we can make it before I uh, run out of steam. So hang tight and I'll be right back momentarily, guys. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back to the screen here. Also, let's see what we can do here because we have a couple assignments, right? So we have this quest Glacius to get the spell Glacius. This is for Wingardium Leviosa and this is for Defendo. I think we're fine without this right now because we don't need it to progress. So let's meet Fig at the tower, because that's going to progress our main quest. I think that'll be fun. Thank you for the welcome back, guys. Thank you. Ooh. That's interesting. So we can have a nice little flight up there. We can grab this path along the way. So... Let's go from here. Uh, it didn't let me select it. It's moving. That's interesting. Jackdaw's tomb, Mysterio Cave. I did not like that place. Let's actually just fly from here. <laughs> I prefer that. And let's go check out that tower. Because I feel like we're kind of making progress. I think we're doing pretty okay, actually. 
Oh, someone was attacking me. I can see the mobs below those red triangles. Oh, hello. Is this what I think it is? I see. Or is this a bad thing? Oh, that's a bad thing. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, I'm good. We're leaving that. Um, that's a spider symbol. I, I did not think that was spiders. We're going this way. We'll deal with that another day. I was hoping that was maybe one of the Merlin objectives. I don't think it is. Look at all those red triangles under us, guys. We're just gonna... We're gonna go over here. <laughs> oh, definitely. Thank you for hanging out with us, Sir Wolf. And the map is big and the game looks amazing. I agree. Let's grab this uh, fast port path on the way here. Might as well. Because we're very close to it. Yeah, there was definitely there's definitely a spider. Giant spider web symbol on the map means spiders, apparently. What are you up to now? We got this fast port spot. Revelia. Poachers. Let's uh, I think this is for one of our quests. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. Let's take out the porchers. One less poacher in the wizarding world. We took out a poacher. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, hello. Look what we Let's found. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. A Merlin quest. And an unidentified item. Let's glance around here real quick. Rebellion. I guess it has to probably do with these pillars. Interesting. Is that literally inside there? That's inside there. I think that has a misspawn. That's okay. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna use our mallow suite. These all have rocks on top of them. Except for the three. So, I wonder what these three want. I'm curious. There's this. No. Maybe we need to put rocks on top of these ones that don't have them? Are there any that we can? Oops. Revenia. Okay, that breaks rocks. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Don't know if I was supposed to do that. The rocks come back. I wonder what I'm supposed to be seeing with this one. The rocks came back on this one. Am I supposed to be climbing up? One. Okay. So we got up on here and it went green. 
we get down, it's no longer green. Well, that's curious. Okay. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Are we supposed to jump on all of them? Very poorly. Did that do it? No. Well, that's hard. I'm kind of confused about this thing. It normally has to do with things of three. Maybe it's about the speed at which we jump on them? Maybe we didn't do it fast enough. Oh no. Oops. No, that's not it. I feel like we can't do that fast enough to do all of them. Resident Evil remake? Nice. I wonder what we're supposed to be doing with this quest. It's definitely weird. Oh no, I'm on the ground. I wonder if this is like a speed thing or an order thing. Apparently not. Maybe in a certain order, but I'm not sure, because they go away. But I don't know what the order would be. Did that do something? Huh. I'm almost tempted to look this one up. <laughs> so, that one's, they're all leaning in some way. One of these is faded on this one. Let's see if it's the same one that's faded on the others. Nope, that didn't do it. Let's try. I almost have a feeling this one might be speed to jump on all of them. But... <clears throat> well, they're all triggering when I jump on them. Let's see. I'm curious. I'm going to ask Google. Merlin trial. Because there's only so many of these, right? I'm curious for this one, though. Let's see if we can find this one real quick. Because I don't want us to just jump back and forth between stones forever. Apparently not this one. Checking this one. Because honestly, I'm not sure what to do. You have to not touch the ground, it says. So when I fall off, that's what causes the problem. So basically, we have to not touch the ground. So I don't think it's as, it says running and jumping. It doesn't say anything about the speed or not. So let's see if we can do this without touching the ground. Oh, I fell. So that's why we were failing. 
Because I touched the ground. I would never guess it was as simple as not touching the ground. Oh! That one's shorter, so it's hard. Let's try this again. Now that I have something telling me not to touch the ground, I have a bit more faith in trying this. Let's try slow. Wizard parkour. Ooh, I almost touched the ground. And the last one. Did that do it? These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Ha! Huh. Not touching the ground. That's good. I'm not ashamed to Google stuff, by the way, guys. If I try something a couple times and it's not working, I will totally Google. I'd much rather Google than suffer. We did it. We completed it. Rebellion. That's exciting. I wish this bag wasn't stuck in this thing. I kind of want to loot it. So let's go meet Professor Fig at the tower now. Oh, that's so much easier when you know you just um, you're not supposed to be touching the ground. Okay, guys, off to the tower we go. And we got a new fast travel point. Your game crashed. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Rob Allen. That's sucky. Ooh, let's grab this real quick before we do that. Just to make sure we have it. Over here. Oh, how we just wait and pass out in the ground. It's like, this is fine. Revelio. I don't see any gatherables here, so that's fine. Professor Fig. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Okay, now we recently upgraded ah, our spells. This isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. Okay. And... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. Darn it. No sense in announcing our arrival. Okay. Bacon and mushroom stew. Quickly now. Dude, don't go without me. It's like running off before I can even disillusionment. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. What? I don't remember which one that is. Oh no. Oh, he wants me to cast my spell to kill him. Okay, the kill him spell. I didn't remember that was the name for it. Okay, now um, investigate the goblin presence. I have a feeling he'll still see me, right? We got the improved, we don't have the improved hiding spell. That dude is about to see us. Investigate. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Okay. I wonder how much investigating in the goblin presence we need to be doing. There must be something here. Ramrock said so. I'm not a huge fan of the sneaking. There's a treasure chest over there, though. Avelia. Ramrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards. Must be something here. Ramrock said so.
Okay. Why am I always on patrol? The waste of my skills. Investigate the goblin presence. How much investigating am I supposed to do? Because we kind of looked around here a lot. Investigate the goblin presence. Interesting. I guess we're gonna go to the center area now that we uh, took out a bunch of them. Let's see if he turns around. How many hours into the game? Ooh, I did six hours yesterday and ten hours today, so sixteen-ish. investigating is this thing want okay I have a feeling that that's not supposed to have that black square around it that's kind of like a graphical glitch going on I guess we can just kill all the goblins that counts as investigating right Screw it. Let's kill him. Is that cows investigated? We killed them all. Maybe we need to investigate something in here. Rebellion. There's a letter. Maybe that's what we need to find. Orders. Search the tower and the surrounding These area. Look for anything to do with names. To do with names. What names? And why here? What you find here could be the key to Goblin Kind finally taking its rightful place in the world. Interesting. Okay, well, killing them all works. Let's go loot those bags. Oh, it's this guy. I will draw blood. Deadly mistake. This. Completely inferior being. I tried. Honestly, when I'm feeling a game, I'm feeling a game. <laughs> Okay, well, we killed those guys. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of his sneaking plan. So now we need to search the tower. I'm guessing that tower is probably the tower. So we need to find that letter. Looks like we found the entrance. Okay, we're done with the sneaky sneaky. It's locked. Oh, I want to learn that. Teach me. An unlocking charm. It really is. Very handy. No I agree, it's getting interesting. It soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Oh, good. Let's get those chests and this money. 
And hopefully this money will help us with the other quest. So that'll be good. There's a bag up there. We are not graceful, guys. Not graceful at all. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Revelio. Sorry for that white square that keeps popping up. Welcome I'm pretty sure it's Steam Achievements. There's a lock. What do you want me to search the tower for? That door is locked. Percival! It's Percival! That's what we're searching the tower for. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sambacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper computer? Very nice. you have yet to encounter. But sorry, your game crashed. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again Ooh, hey, Justin. soon after our last encounter. I'll tell you my specs well, right after this part. I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. Remember what I see? Ooh. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Okay. Uh, so, Justin, I built my own computer. I the reservoir of ancient magic. Ooh, it's, she's talking again. Downstairs Sorry. <laughs> near the entry. I put a 3080 in there and 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM. And it's water-cooled and it's glorious. Um, I am running 2K monitors because I prefer to stream in 2K and not 4K. Because 4K, like I have unlimited data, but still it gets a bit questionable when you get to a certain amount. So I, I stream in 2K and I run the 2K, two 2K monitors. It's not bad. And I run, uh, when I'm doing stuff through a capture card, I run an Elgato HD60X for things like my Switch and stuff. But, um... Yeah, it's been handling this pretty fine on 2K Ultra, went in off of a 3080. I don't think you need... I think it's overkill. I don't think you need more than like a 20 series video card. I'm sure the game says you can run it on less though. So let's find the entrance to the first trial. That's locked. Hmm. Revenia. We're drinking floor tea. We are sophisticated. There is a bag up there in that locked room. Definitely, I'm standing on sketchy magic here. Rebellion. Maybe this? Wonder what's up with this on the ground.
What's up with that? Okay. Huh. Find the entrance to the first trial. Maybe over here? No? That rat running into the wall was rather creepy. Do we keep glowing out here? Huh. Oh, very, very true. I like uh, streaming in 2K because I'm more likely to get suggestion search results. So, it does that loud thing when we're down here. Very curious. I'm not 100% sure what we're looking for. Do you guys see anything? Can I see the creepy glow? I kind of thought it might have been hinting towards that way. Here. Found it. Found it. Okay. There we go. A 30 as well. 1440p monitor. Yes. That is what I recommend, honestly, for any computer gameplay stuff or streaming. That way you have a little bit of Heads up over 1080p, and if you're going to have it on a big TV, it'll look good. And if you're going to clip shorts from stuff, it doesn't get blurry. Because before I upgraded, my shorts were blurry. We made it in here. At first, I walked too far, I think. So we're going into the first trial, guys. Here we go. First trial. Good luck to us. <clears throat> Good luck to us. I built in that Corsair 5000 whatever series case, the one that's like glass, but I got the QL edition, so it doesn't have the gray on the front. It's it's white and it's got beautiful lights in it. <laughs> Basically, I have an expensive glow box. Let's see. Rebellion. Let's check I've out the first trial. Ooh, and the it's section. like a dungeon. Look at that. No paper in here. I guess maybe they don't put them in the dungeons. Okay. There's things on the side. I wonder if they matter. Let's run through and see if it acts like they matter. I think not so far. That is glowing. Is that on purpose? It's like a reflector. It's gold. Okay. These stairs go down. Okay. These big golden pods are creepy. Dudes with swords. Okay. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. Where? Right here. Impressive. That must have done something. Hey, we have a bridge now. Let's have a look around. We definitely have a bridge now. Sketchy portal bridge, but a bridge nonetheless. Let's grab that chest while we're over here. Okay, 57 gold, I'll take it. Ooh, our new improved dodge is nice. I hadn't tried that. Diamond weave robe, I wonder what that looks like. Let's check real quick and make sure it's not an upgrade. A couple things to check and make sure they're not upgrades. 
42, 41 unidentified. That'll stay as is for now. 41, 36, 33. That's fine. And let's check the robe, the diamond. We have an unidentified diamond weave. Um, locked. It's not identified, sorry. It's locked. We're not high enough level. This dark arts cloak is 41. We should equip that. Ooh, we actually look nice in that. Let's wear that for a bit. We'll go with that. That way we're at least running our best stats. Hey, it's all good, Electro. I have no idea what I even said because I was looking away for a second. But glad you're still here. We just got a robe upgrade. Let's go ahead and save real quick. I know we get auto saves, but just to be on the safe side since we're doing something right now. And we're going to save over this first one. There we go. I know it says 12 hours, but for some reason it didn't count my first two hours of gameplay um, the other day. So I think we've been playing a little bit longer. Here we go, guys. Rebellion. We got a nice little robe, though. Hello, I don't like that. I guess we just walk in this and it's creepy. I don't, yeah, it's creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> like, thank you, game. I do not like this. Another one of those white squares. I need to figure out what is doing that. I'm pretty sure where the stream crashed earlier because of Streamlabs, I think that's what we had going on. I think it's steam. We're gonna get attacked. Something's gonna attack us. It's probably gonna be those statues. Let's get that chest before we investigate that. 23 gold. Okay. Time to investigate the glowing lights. Let's see what we got here, guys. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Complete Percival Rackham's trial. I'm assuming we just go through the portal. I don't see anything else in here. Oh, a chest. We almost missed a chest. 30 gold. We'll take it. The dark route? Oh, I'm not going the dark route. Um, on my next playthrough, I'll go through the dark route, though. But this is the main storyline quest. Um, there's no way to not do this quest. Can we light this on fire? Nope. And thank you for the luck. I appreciate it. Okay. Again with the white square. I have a feeling we're about to do combat. These are never a welcome sight. Okay, here we go, guys. Expect this time. that one. Triangle. Oh. Dodge. <laughs> Need more dodging. Dodge. alive still. I still hear combat music. Okay, maybe they're dead. I still heard combat music though, so that's sketchy. 
Let's head on our way. Oh, platform. These look familiar. They do. Okay, here we go. So, I imagine... We're gonna want this over here. I could actually jump, that'd be good. Interesting. Can we pull ourselves over that way? We can pull ourselves that way, but then how do we get to that chest? Is there a chest over there? There is. Let's pull ourselves this way for now. Was it Akio I used before? No, it's just an anchor point, I think. I know we need to invest that, investigate that spot, but I'm curious about something first. Nope, I didn't like that. Oops, I lumosed. That platform looks like it ought to get me where I need to go. Okay. I didn't go up in that chest, but that's okay. There's that platform. Does it want me to go through that portal yet? I imagine not. Let's run over here real quick. Oh, I missed. <laughs> no, you gotta go back up. I was hoping we could make that jump. Cause I want to get those chests real quick. So let's fix this mess I did. We'll pull this back on over here. Now, let's see if we can aim there. That's rather far away. Let's aim here. Now we can reach that, right? What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Yes, yes, I should, but first I'm getting this stuff. We got an ensemble. Let's pull ourselves over there first. I want to get this chest real quick. Watch if he's like some gold. And scarf, I'll take it. And let's go over here and examine from this side. The room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Wonder if we should go through. Interesting. Let's try going through, I guess. <sighs> More statues. Okay. We're about to get beat down. That's great. Dodge, dodge. Leviosa. Dodge, dodge. Accio. Murder spell. It's not actually the murder spell, that's just the arcane ancient magic spell. And dodge. Oh, he hit me right in the face. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Boom, to the face. Not making this easy on me. Okay. Is there a chest back here? No, would be the answer. That's just where the statues were. There's a chest up there, and then there's that platform. Nothing there. Let's go grab that chest real quick. 
very curious about down here because there's this door that's partially underground. That's kind of weird. I kind of swore I saw a chest over this way. Rebellion. No? Okay, I guess we have to do something with this platform. Let's Accio it over here so I can jump up on it. And it's leading that way. But what can I possibly pull this to? Rebellion. Interesting. Okay. It wants to go that way. So nothing under here, but it is up there for sure. Let's go pull it over that way from this side. And see what it wants from this side. Oh, it wants us to investigate that spot. So let's pull this over here. That's the spot we need to investigate. Found it. Okay. There's a treasure chest over there that I want. Let's go ahead and pull this over first. No? Can't pull that over. Wonder why I can't pull that over. Cause this is definitely not going over there. Okay. Maybe I just wasn't close enough. Maybe I can pull it over. No, it's not pulling. Weird. Is something blocking it? Maybe there's something down there I need to do. You did, but you what have to go Burton through the arch. On both sides of the oh, go through the arch. Something must be different. I didn't notice that massive arch here. Let's go through the arch. That makes so much more sense. Thank you. I would have been confused for quite a bit. So I went through the arch. Now let's go back up there. And let's pull this over. Well, actually, I don't have to pull this over. I can just run up the stairs. I'm trying to make it harder than it needs to be. And now let's see if I can pull this since I went through the arch. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Well, darn. Okay, apparently I did that wrong. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. From both sides? I think I am, right? Maybe go through the archway this way. Is what it wants. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Okay. Bit confused, but I'll take it. So I need to get over there. Interesting. So now we can go over and get that treasure chest real quick. So let's go get that chest. Okay. 
So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Well, now how do I get it over there? <laughs> okay, let's hop down and pull it over this way. We're gonna have to pull it over here so I can go back up the stairs. I should be able to pull it to where I need it to be from there. So let's run back over and up these. And then we can pull ourselves on over. So that's it. We need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Okay. Now I got it here. I think we need to go back through the archway. Let's see if that did it for us. That did. So that's it. Ah, I need to use I didn't both jump. sides of the archway to get the I pressed roll instead. The side of the bridge. That's how you know I've been playing for Oh goodness, 11 hours today, guys. 11 hours. No. <laughs> I almost dodged right off this thing. Okay, we're gonna get across here now. And we got that chest on the other side. Interesting how that changes it. Okay. I think we're making it, guys. Oh, goodness. This trial is actually hard. It reminds me of Harry Potter, but meets Legend of Zelda puzzles. But more interface friendly okay. Legend of Zelda puzzles. We'll grab this chest. We'll take the free money anytime we can get it. Oh, I do not like these floors. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Paige. We're gonna make it through this thing. We're gonna have to fight these guys again. I did not dodge that one. Okay, definitely taking a hit. Sorry guys, very focused. 
focus. <laughs> Dodge! Okay. We took care of those guys. So. Rebellion. Let's see what's around here. I guess we're just gonna go down this way. Okay, there's another portal there. Oops. Helps if I don't dodge so much. I don't mean to. Now, why is that over there? And that over there. We can just pull ourselves over, right? But there's gotta be a reason for those two, doesn't there? I don't see something over there. I guess unless we go through the portal, it changes something. I guess we might need those in a minute. Huh. Well. Let's pull ourselves over this way for a second. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Interesting. If I go through the archway, I want to fall through to the ground. I guess let's see what happens. Nope. <laughs> that was not the answer. Let's, um, hmm, try to think how I get it over there. We need to get one of these over on the other side of that, don't we? I definitely won't fall off of there. Well, that's not going to get me over there. Oh, Yeah, definitely trying. Definitely trying. One week till Dreamlight Valley update. Absolutely for sure. I'm kind of stumped. Not going to lie. Kind of stumped. Let's try coming over this way, I guess. we go through over here there's nothing over there on this side right now but if we look through it is there oh here's one that we can pull to if we get closer I guess to this one because maybe we can get this to the other side yeah okay, I think we need to get this to the other side to not die here for a second and grab this chest unidentified head item and now if we come through do we move it far enough now there's two let's pull this over to me real quick Interesting. How do I pull myself over if that one disappears? Oh, it's so annoying right now. You have no idea. Because <laughs> it is there normally until we go through on this side, right? Hmm. 
right? Like so. Let's see if I can jump up here without dying. It's gonna reset this all. It's gonna be so upsetting. Nope, I'm dying. <laughs> it's okay. We tried. Okay. That's a pain in the butt. Definitely a pain in the butt. At least we got the treasure chest, so I know that's a thing. I have a feeling we're supposed to be getting one of these over there. I'm just not 100% sure how. The puzzle parts are the hard part for me. Hydrate is definitely good. Okay. I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. Idea. This is my idea. Okay. anything for us. There we go. Solved it. Solved it, guys. <laughs> Solved it. Ha. Huh. Go us. Never again are we doing that. That is a real big pile of garbage puzzle. <laughs> we made it. Holy shnikes, that puzzle is evil. I do not like it. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> oh, my hands are sore. I was gripping the controller hard for a minute there. That is definitely a thing, and it made anxiety. There's some potions here. I guess it's telling us we're about to get our butt kicked. Let's save real quick. Because, oh, we'll only be doing that again on our next playthrough. So this is seven hours on this part. Our stream crashed after four hours, so it's 11 hours today. And we played six hours yesterday. I don't know why it's not counting the initial hours on our save file, which is kind of interesting, but it's good to know. So 17 hours in, but the save file doesn't show everything. Okay, we're gonna have to fight something. It's just gonna be nice and let's have this chest without a combat. Sounds like we're about to have a combat. Can't carry any more Wiganweld potions. Okay. Well, what else is in that chest? Just potions? Well, darn. I wanna know what else is in that chest. Is it just because our potions are full? It won't let us use a potion when we're not in combat. And Dao's gonna let us come back for this chest. I wonder if it's only potions in there. That's a conundrum. You can't use a Wiganwell potion when you're not in combat. Can we dump one of them? No, they're not an inventory slot item. Well, I guess we're gonna hope nothing else is in that chest. 
Yeah, I'm almost thinking the first couple hours in the tutorial don't count. The wiggle bridges are not cool. Rebellion. Don't like the look of this. Should have dodged on that one instead. My bad. Who's still alive? He is. Okay, let's take him out. This 
is a long fight. I'm not a fan of him not dying yet. Get ready to dodge. Too soon. Heal. And dodge. Dodge. Heal. Oh! It does not want to let me dodge. Okay, there we go. Dodge. There we go. Triangle. Get ready, dodge. Nope. His health bar is massive. Really, the whole thing with this fight is just a massive health bar and some dodging. Dodge! Dodge. And... I'm gonna dodge a fourth time because my timer is off. He wanted to step on us. <laughs> he was trying to curb stomp us. Holy shnikes. He wanted to really, really, really just give us a bad day. He's one cranky butthead. My hands are sore now. <laughs> I'm bad at dodging, so I have to say dodge, or I can't do it. <laughs> Another pensive. Let's open this chest first. Maybe this will give us some potions? No, now after we use literally like 15 of them. Let's check around here real quick. Anything else in here? Just the pensive in the chest. So let's stick our face in this pensive. It's gonna be some nice refreshing water after that combat. Let's check in here real quick though. No, nope, nothing back here. Okay, face and pensive time. Woo wee guys, that was a thing. Look at that. All right. Good old triangle and dodge, guys. <laughs> oh, another cutscene, guys. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. No. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. The pain of losing him is as deep for him now as it, it really is. Yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. The story is so good, guys. I'm really liking this story. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. 
Professor Rickwood? How That's so a professor. That you'd accepted the position of defense against the dark arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Okay. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Return to the map chamber. I mean, it says now to find a way out of here. Oh, right here. I was wondering if it wants us to tell her, teleport. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Okay. Here we go, guys. We did it. Yeah, we don't trust him. But I mean, maybe we should. But look how pretty this is, guys. That is so pretty. Let's talk to Professor Fig. We made it, guys. <laughs> we made it. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringos with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Oh, we. Yeah. Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. Okay. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then. Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Speak with Mr. Rookwood. Oh, I'm glad they thought it looked nice. I mean, this is a stunning game. It's a stunning, stunning game. Mr. Rookwood. Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Okay. Well, that was exciting. And we get a cutscene. Is the season changing? It's fall. How stunning. The season changed. 
we're back in our room. We got an achievement this popping up, I guess, because we got a white square. We completed, uh, completed Percival's first quest there. And, uh, I think we have mail. Oh, from our owl. From Professor Rig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay, that's old. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine, Professor Fig. And from Helen. Greetings. I'm happy to report that my sister Helen um, survived that sudden attack in Azkaban. She said she does not hold a grudge against Anne, as terrible as the violence was. After seeing the conditions in Azkaban anew, sorry, Azkaban, I can't speak today, Helen says no wonder Anne's mind is so far gone. It seems you found Jack Dawes' ghost and told him about Anne. Helen wanted you to know that he has evidently promised to work with Ministry and Helen to see if anything can be done for her. Signed, Eddie Thistlewood. Okay. That was certainly exciting. Um, I should ask some... Ooh, we got new mail. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop <gasps> the when broom you can. upgrade's ready. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Okay. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo. Useful for pulling objects to the ground. Yeah, a whole lot happening. So, we got our broom. We got our room of requirement. Um, I'm sure we have some gear we can now sell to get some more money. We are going to need to get more money as we go. Um, let's check and see if these are upgrades real quick. 38, 41. We can't put traits on yet, so let's take the one with the highest defense for the moment. And let's check here real quick. We need to identify that, because otherwise I, we have this, but it's also unidentified. So let's do this. We had a very productive day. Let's go raid um, Beacon of Nick, because he's playing um, the same game right now. And he's a really cool streamer. Um, let's go hang out in his stream because I, I want to heat up some dinner and watch the stream and relax. And if you guys want to go over there with me, just say Barb Plays Raid. It'll pop up and ask y'all to go over. I'm working on sending this over there now. And we'll stream again tomorrow afternoon, probably 3 p.m. is what I'm aiming for, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. And I'm going to send this over to Beacon Stream now and just click on it to go over and I'll see you guys over there. And I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks again. Hope you guys have a great night too.